it's even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order for just 50p and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from the genuine Gemstone Company. Welcome to Designer Inspiration. Oh, my presence for off. With me, uh, Jenny Cleary, I am today going to introduce you to the wonderful world of resin in a different way with Hannah Oxbury, everybody, who is also one of our head buyers here at Jewelry Maker. She does a lot. And we have got today <laughs> one of our favourite tools. I'm very excited now. It is going to be a certain price. Like it's not going under £100 or anything. If you're shopping with your credit card today, my life's policy is you only live once, girls, and there are worse things we can spend our money on. Uh, I, I'm no financial advisor, but this one is worth putting on your credit card. I've got the Dremel. You need it in your life. It does so many wonderful things. Let's have a little quick look around the Dremel. I've got mine and I bought mine, and this is crazy because not even for jewelry making I bought mine, so that I could be a competitive pumpkin decorator. I'm a competitive parent. If Mrs. Jones next door is using a regular knife and spoon for her pumpkin, I'm there with the Dremel. I'm competing. I'm going to do cats. I'm going to do things that Mrs. Jones could never do. Look, uh, you can also etch into glass. You can engrave with it. You can etch into plates. I mean, the Dremel has so many options. You can drill hole with it. You can engrave with it. You can do so much. This, I think, is a crafty, essential tool. Now, you can get these elsewhere, but, but, I'm gonna give you all the tools as well, which you normally, if you shop elsewhere, have to buy as an added extra. I'm gonna give you the tools and the Dremel for one wonderful price tag today. Uh, we're gonna be bringing you this a little bit later on. I've got such a wonderful show lined up for you. Now, I also want to show you this gorgeous turquoise, phenomenal. Have a look at the edges. Oh my goodness, I want a ring made out of it now. I want a bracelet made out of it now. Look at that. I love the way they're flat because they just reflect the light so perfectly. So they're coming up for you a little bit later on. Oh, we've got, was this your pumpkin, Hannah? Yeah. Hannah did her Dremel pumpkin. Here it is. Jewelry maker, jewelry maker. <laughs> I love Halloween, I do. Oh, it's good fun. Good it fun. is. I like autumn, actually. Mm. I like uh, bonfire night, Halloween. I like snuggling by the fire and hot chocolates and marshmallows. Well, it also allows you to make much more extravagant jewelry because you can wear it over your big jumpers mm. and things like that. And like Fiona was saying earlier, brooches and things like that are brilliant in autumn. 
do you know what she, you, uh, you're right now let me talk to you lady because we're going a bit chanel today. we are doing a bit chanel today we're going a bit chanel which i love tell everybody at home exactly what we can expect from you today and what i can perhaps learn for the very first time well today for the first time we'll be bringing you bangle molds that yes. you can use with your resin so it affords you much more um interesting designs with your resin your resin is just the component part whereas the bangle filler whatever you choose it to be you can go as wild as you like with it and that is what the key design element is for this particular project now we are doing um I don't know whether Danny has um, got the picture of the Chanel bracelet that we've been inspired by. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to see if we can find that because you did actually post it. Uh, you, you actually Facebooked it to me, didn't yeah, you? Yeah. Hack into me Facebook. No, it's in my messages. Now, um, by hack, I mean just go in because he's not a hacker. <laughs> uh, now, Hannah, talk to me again about these brand new bracelet molds this bracelet is a big mold. deal here this is maker. this is a huge deal we've not had anything like this to screen before and what it is it's specifically developed to be used with the with the doming resin and, and the normal resin as well and it's literally just a little mold that you can fill with whatever you want and then fill up with resin yes yeah, so if i'm into my steampunk anything and i want to put want. all the watch findings anything in and want. the rose petals in anything you it want. can all go in Absolutely. now this is very exciting because mm -hmm. now i'm thinking i want to get my resin back out again yeah because i i want to put photo graphs in a bangle and things like that it's easy it's going to be so easy. easy it's going to be so wonderful and it's coming up for you very very soon i've got a beautiful strand of tourmaline as well coming up for you stunning sapphires beautiful tubular agates it's all kicking off the jewelry making to win it's saturday isn't it and by the way uh, according to my other half who thinks he's right about everything by the way um we are going to have a week's worth of rain today I think we probably already had it. Yeah, I drove through it, I reckon. Uh, so, don't go outside. Don't even go out there. Don't even go there, uh, because it's too wet and vile. Now, my darling jewellery makers, should we start with that tourmaline, Danny? Should we, let's do, let's, hey Danny, let's not mess around. Let's just go in there with another brand new high-end strand for you. This tourmaline is super bright, super gorgeous. A patchwork quilt of colour. Have a look, you've got the pinks. I love these flat squares because they allow you so much scope for your design. You can flatten them out and put them into the cross design like Gemma mm -hmm. Crow did. They've got amazing faces. Have a look. It's quite hard to show you, but uh, you've got every colour. Tourmaline really does cover a huge range of the colour spectrum, which is why it's such a popular gemstone, spe specifically with, um, with companies like Tiffany & Co, because they love a coloured gemstone as much as we do at Gems TV and Jewellery Maker. Tiffany & Co have a, an outstanding colour collection. Jean Schlumberger likes to use colour. We all know that Paloma Picasso is a huge fan of using big, bright colours in the dot charms and things like that and tourmaline is a gemstone that features majorly in their collections because it has that wonderful uh, colour because it can offer you beautiful clarity we've seen it in its red form known as rubellite the green is like a no, no other green like a bottle green is beautiful and then you get the softer pinks you get a huge smoky colours in there as well it's such a wonderful gemstone to be able to jewellery make with because you can really pick your colours. The yellows are stunning, almost golden in tone. If you wanted to take this home, you could unstrand it and put them all in their own colour groups, or you could just do a mishmash of colour like this and have a real patchwork quilt look, which I absolutely love. I think these are very organic. There is absolutely no way, you cheeky chaps, that I am counting these. But they just <laughs> said, you know, wouldn't I many songs there? Can you count them? How about now? <laughs> No. I bought chicken eggs in today. Do you know what Tom just said to me? Oh, can I borrow one of them? I went, you can't really borrow it, but you can have it. What do you want it for? Oh, I want to put it in my car radiator. It was freshly laid in this morning. I literally lifted the chicken off the egg this morning to bring it in for you. I, I, and I'm not putting it in your Toyota Avensis. No. Well, what do you drive then? <laughs> I'm not putting it in your Honda Civic or your Ford Focus. Not happening. No. Oh, what are they like here? Just, just 
just a waste of an egg. It is. Now, these are going to be so beautiful in clusters. I really like a bubble bracelet with mm -hmm. this. Lots and lots. You can, you can stack them, Hannah, can't you? And put them on a head pin and have a, a beautiful yeah. bubble bracelet. They look amazing stacked on a head pin through a bubble bracelet design, but they also look super cool mixed in with crochet. So you Ooh, yes, drop these yes. in and crochet around them and it just makes a really, really full bracelet. It looks mm. really cool. And the good thing is, because they're all different colours, you can really pick your beading thread. It doesn't matter yep. what's in your beading thread. It doesn't matter at all. Yep. You can really pick any colour. ZKJ N30, a brand new gorgeous strand, 25 carats of multicolored tourmaline for just £24.95. Get it in your life for the 30 day. Hey, do you know something? Shall I tell you something? I was flicking through the other channels the other day. Well, you know, we're a shopping TV household. Mm -hmm. And uh, they kept saying 14 day money back guarantee, it, pr pr pretty much all of them. Wow. 30 days? That's a month to me. Third, well, to most people actually. <laughs> <laughs> 30 days in a money back guarantee. Goodness gracious, that's amazing. Don't tell our boss that the other channels don't do that and something else which is amazing especially if you're getting the Dremel there is no way I'd be able to walk into the post office and say I got 2.95 can I post that please he'd mm. be like no go away that's never gonna go we only charge 2.95 per basket so no matter how big the package coming to your house is it's only cost you 2.95 to send Phenomenal. 24.95. Don't forget to text us today, 6077. Oh, we're doing the Dremel. We're getting things out that we haven't got out. We're, we're going to bring our resin back out today and do some new things. What are you doing today? Uh, there's lots of questions about the um, about the bangle moulds. Will we be able to use it with jewel enamels coming through? Mm -hmm. Will I be able to use it with polymer clays coming through? Polymer clay, um, you could do, but you would need to bake the beads first, then yeah. set them in something like jewel enamel or resin. Mm -hmm. But jewel enamel, you certainly can, as long as you use crafty flex, because this is what we were discussing yes, yesterday, on the phone, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Because uh, the great thing with resin is it's a really, really hard substance once it's, once it's cured, whereas jewel enamel can be quite brittle. But yes, you can certainly use it with jewel enamel as well. So this is perfect if you're using lots of other different crafty mediums. Stick with us today, my little darling dears. Uh, please don't forget to keep it interactive with us today. What have you done so far this morning? I've lifted chickens off eggs mm -hmm. and I've left the, um, the daughter with the other half who is now watching a YouTube tutorial on how to apply Velcro rollers to a girl's hair. That's happening at my house right now. I don't know what I'm gonna come home to. I really don't. Now, we are going to give you some gorgeous garnet. Definitely feeling red at the moment. Mm. I don't know if you've noticed, I love a bit color. of red. Uh, I think this is absolutely stunning, this strand. This is one of the best garnets, the red garnets that oh, we've got in stock. It's beautiful. The sparkle I can see from here is amazing. It's that colour. Mm -hmm. It's rich as a pomegranate seed. The clarity is outstanding. These look like they would taste of the most beautiful red wine. They are luxurious. Don't eat them though. Look at that top drilled perfection. That strawberry jam clarity mm. that I love. This has got to be the best garnet, hasn't it? Uh, and of course, we see all different types of garnet here at Jewelry Maker. All different types, all different styles, all different cuts, all different colours. This has got to be my favourite colour of the garnet family. January's birthstone. I mean, it's, it's, I actually thought before I started working here that garnet didn't possess any clarity. What happened was I was just going to rubbish jewellers that had, re, you know, garnet that was super, super, I mean, and sometimes that's nice when you, it's next to go, but if I was paying the price like the jewellers were asking, that wasn't the gemstone I wanted to get. I didn't know it at the time. And so my, my passion for garnet was ignited only when I first started working here. And it's when I first started realizing the amazing colors that you can get in red garnet. This is beautiful. And in fact, the array of colors that you get in garnet, I love a drop. And if you've got any winter weddings coming up, mm. I think this with gold and some white pearls, maybe a bit of peridot is beautiful. Luxurious, sumptuous and the sparkle is phenomenal. Now these are graduated from seven by six to 11 by seven. Let's think about, I mean, we know that garnet is a birth gemstone. We know it's a gemstone that's been loved and adored 
we know we can see it's a great color how's it going to work for you in your jewelry designs well i think you've got a very nice strand here it's going to offer you lots of scope for design i think that you have got an opportunity to make cascading waterfall earrings i think you can make individual pendants out of this as well so if you're thinking about profit margins this could be a good one for you i also think that clustering them is definitely a possibility but you want to make a nice delicate ring prong setting them a bit of gold wire i don't think you can go far wrong i actually think you could make a trillion ring out of this strand and we don't have many strands that i think that would be suitable for i think this one will take perhaps three of the um and, and i don't think i've seen any of our guest designers do trillion prong yet that would be quite no, a nice one a maybe one. i'm going to put the challenge out there a trillion prong set ring would be lovely wouldn't it with these and i think you've got the strand to do it here now i'm going to give you this garnet for a fantastic price tag it is high end it is luxurious and it is being priced slash because 17.95 is not your price tag today even though i think that's pretty fantastic you feel cautious Anna Roxbury. better here than out there because she can't <laughs> run and strangle you from no, here no. she's on air 14.95 is your price tag beautiful rich almost rubelite red with this one gorgeous hello patricia anonymous in greater manchester elaine in kent jill in sussex yvette in the west midlands you've got yours absolutely beautiful strand w-a-n I won these gemstones. <laughs> v, 52. Hannah, what would you do with these? Well, actually, uh, in the weekly email this week, there's a hints and tips, which is how to create a really lovely chandelier earring finding. Ooh. So one of these little drops off each chandelier would look amazing in the design. So if you're not signed up to the weekly email, you can sign up via the website. How do I do it? Just log on to the website, which yeah. is all the w.jurymaker.com. And if it's first time you've logged on or it's the first time you've logged on that day, it should come up with a pop-up that says, please join our mailing list. And you get Weekly it does do that. It does mm -hmm. it anyway, even yep. if you're yeah, just if you're not uh, logged in, doesn't yeah, yeah, it? Yeah. Because I always try and send a cheeky message to the studio, but they never get read <laughs> out. What I do, I do. Tell Lucy I like her nose. Was my last <laughs> one. Fourteen ninety five. W A N. And I always make up funny names for myself, and you never put them on, ever. <laughs> and sometimes they're really hilarious as well. Oh, eight hundred six triple four. Six double five is the number to be dialing. Alison Tarry uh, mailed me last night to show me a stiletto shoe out of wire oh, that I've she's seen made. That. It is amazing. Newsflash, newsflash. I'm going to give her some of my shoes and she's going to use them as a template and she's oh. going to make size five wire wrap <laughs> shoes. Yes. Bon voyage, Alison Tarry, who's going off to a Francais. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Imagine me teetering, going off to French today. Yeah, you know that place where they eat fries and frogs. Oh, you come from there, Danny, don't you? Do you like to gnaw on a frog's leg or is that just myth? I actually quite like frog's legs. Uh, Jan in Norfolk. Hello, Jan. I've spent the morning watching Jewelry Maker and playing with my two six-week-old silver doves. Ooh, Persian. That's with the mm. hair, isn't it? Mm. Oh snuggle buggles and they're what sorry and their mum oh i really want a kitten so badly i got but i also want a dog and i have to make my mind up apparently have both I, yeah i could have both except i know that he's reluctantly saying i can have a kitten or a dog and, and when it happens it's going to be stressful enough isn't it? <laughs> hello sissy sissy says good morning miss jenny getting ready to arrange my craft room. I'm putting up a pegboard just for jewelry maker. <laughs> um, just for jewelry maker merchandise. I have bought, yippee, sissy, how's Oklahoma today? That's what I want to know. How is Oklahoma? It was raining yesterday in Oklahoma, was I it? think. Mm. Mm. Oh, I love that we've gone, we're so global at the moment. <laughs> um, I think we should come, come over to Oklahoma, Hannah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Now, let's do now. What should I do? I'm going to do something very high end. Have a look at this. Now the greens in the emerald that you get that you can't see at the moment actually. Talking about the greens, you can't even see them. That's my fault. Have a look. I love this. Isn't it fabulous? I love it. 
beautiful. You've got yellow sapphires. These are like Zambian emeralds. No two emerald mines give us the exact same green, mm. do they, Hannah? So you've got a couple of different mines in there. Beautiful blend of greens. Then you've got that deep blue sapphire. Oh, look. Oh, look. I want to make, I want to make something out of all of those. I think it would have to be either a bracelet doubled over like that with the two hole spacer bars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would look really nice. Really pretty like that. Or I would make two necklaces with perhaps a section like that and then another one. Or perhaps, an, actually, I could make a necklace and a matching bracelet in that mm. way, couldn't I? You could. Do you have to have sections at the front? I don't necessarily want the gemstones to go all the way around the back because I think you don't see them. I'd be, I feel like I wouldn't be doing them justice. Mm. They're so pretty. Can you imagine cutting these as well? Look at the sparkle. This is a precious strand. I think, you know what, if you're putting yourself in a category where you would like to stretch out to do the higher end jewelry, if you would like to create high end pieces, then this is, we've only got 10, they're gonna go. If, if you always wanted to work with precious gemstones, perhaps, you know, like me, I always think, oh gosh, I don't feel qualified enough to work with these, aren't they? Are they jewelers gemstones? Well, the great thing is we're gonna give you an affordable price tag, and the great thing is they're gemstones. You know something? If it doesn't work out right, you can just undo it and start again. You can wait for that perfect project. Right now is the time to grab the perfect price tag. Think about the project over time. Maybe you've got a commission. Maybe it's your best friend has got a special birthday. Now, Emily in West Midland says, you need a sound effect for Sapphire. Ta-da! <laughs> yeah, you do. Or, oh. <laughs> yeah. Somewhere along that line. Look at this. <sighs> That's the sound effect. Mm. Mm -hmm. Beautiful ruby and emerald and sapphire should be twenty-seven ninety-five. Get this valued. We give you a certificate of authenticity. Get it valued. I think even before you put it in jewellery, stop doing that. We're not an auction channel, Danny. Look what he does. Look. He just drops the price. He just drops the price. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh no, carry on, I didn't mean stop. Stop, stop, <laughs> do it again. 23.95, YMJ, B50 is your item go. 23 pounds and 95 pence. Look at the deep blues. Great to see you all shopping with us here at Jewelry Maker. We do have the Dremel today, it's true. We do, I thought we started with 10, did we start with 12, did we? We do have the Dremel today. We do have a brand new resin mold. So if any day it's, do you know what? You know when you think, right, if I'm going to get my credit card out today, I'm going to go shopping. Mm -hmm. Today is that day. I Please. shouldn't advise anyone to go and go shopping with their credit card. I'm no financial advisor, as you know, <laughs> Hannah. Yeah. But sometimes a girl's just got to get a credit card. <laughs> when there's a Dremel involved, definitely. Absolutely. Seven chances. Kathleen in Essex, Christine in Kent. Jewelry maker in Leicestershire, jewelry maker in Middlesex, and Sonia in Greater London. You've already secured yours. Maybe Anna's already got this. She does like a high-end gemstone after all. Uh, now it's, it is a gems of distinction strand. Hannah, just to have something like this to be able to create with mm. Sapphire, you just feel actually you feel proud to, you to do, do it. You really do because, like you say, you're walking down the high street, you're looking at all these really high-end jewelers and thinking, I would love to work with those gemstones. And with this strand, you can. Now, what I would do is probably save one colour from each and have it in my portfolio. When I go around to clients, when I'm making boutique bridal wear or anything like that and show them colour charts mm. and say, you know, you can pick from this. And it's that, just that sense of high-end, that luxury that mm -hmm. you're giving something very, very special. And I think it gives you a certain, a certain reputation as yeah. a jewellery maker. If somebody turns up at your house and you're going to get married, Hannah and I are just imagining this situation, obviously. <laughs> yeah. um, and you're going to get married. I mean, if somebody turns up at your house and they're professional, mm. it, it could be anything. It could be the person who's going to make your wedding cake and they come with little examples and they let you taste the cake. You're, you suddenly think they're passionate about this. Mm -hmm. They know what they're doing and they trust you. Yeah, absolutely. It's about that. It's about getting that rapport with your clients to get that trust. You've, and I think when you've got strands like this, they trust that not only do you have knowledge about your gemstones, that you have knowledge about your designs, but you also appreciate quality. And I think if you're getting married, mm -hmm. again, Hannah and I can only imagine this situation, <laughs> you want the very best of everything, don't yep, you? Yeah, you do. Absolutely. 
four chances left just four but you know what the, the funny thing is if i was in on a normal occasion i think uh, anyone would expect to pay hundreds for their mm -hmm. wedding jewelry wouldn't they yeah. well, they would you would you really would so not only are you going to offer them that confidence and that mm -hmm. that wonderful rapport that you've already got you're going to be able to offer them a great price tag so i don't think they're going to look anywhere else no. you know it's it's just a wonderful thing that we're going to get they had to give you these gemstones and you can if you want to pass on the saving to your clients or if you want to keep competitive and you know raise the bar a little bit you can keep those higher price tags you can Rui you've got yours Anastasia you've got yours Jane and Susan and Belinda in Bucks and Jane in Dorset you can't say it without going like that can you who's gonna oh listen I'm Belinda and Jane you don't have you haven't checked out I've got three people in a queue on the 0800 number so who's going to get it first? There are five of you. There's only two. Belinda's got one. We've got one left. Belinda's just checked out. Jane and Dorset still left. Only one left. There's one. I know it says two on your screen, but there is one. There it is. Uh, Jane and Dorset, if you don't check out, you've missed out. Woohoo! I don't know why I'm making owl noises. <laughs> no. Can I do some bright pink drops? Why not, says Danny why indeed not i think there's an occasion for for gemstones like this i think there's a couple of occasions it's a cocktail party mm -hmm. going out with the girls an evening do a glamorous do definitely proms day at the races day at the ra more people are going to the races these days when i was younger used to get sort of the racy set and mm -hmm. nobody else sort of used to go I, i've been grown up going since i was a baby uh, and now more people are going, I really love this. Mm -hmm. It's a, a good day out at the races. And, and you know, there's racing on all, all the time. Every weekend, for sure. Most Wednesdays, for sure. You know, uh, if you're going out and you're getting involved in that, uh, you know what, these are going to make great drop styling. These are going to make wonderful, fun tiaras for proms. Uh, of course, proms uh, were either before GCSEs or after. So if you're creating for after GCSEs, they finish in July, don't they? So uh, now's the time to make sure you're perfecting those prom pieces. You know, it could just be a party. Like I said to you, my daughter's going to a party that she wasn't going to go to tonight because after she had her fall, but she is going. Her friend's party is a huge party. And, um, you know, she actually bought her dress to go two months ago. Uh, and um, Lee went and bought her some shoes yesterday. When I come home, he'd gone and got a selection of shoes uh, that she could wear that are flat so that she didn't hurt her back. And, they're doing, you know, it's a, teenagers now make the effort. Mm -hmm. I remember just throwing on a little pair of shorts or a little skirt or a little a little pair of jeans and go in. They, they make an effort now, don't they? They want jewelry, they want their hair done. Uh, and actually, this is a great strand for your younger clientele, or maybe it's your niece or your daughter or your granddaughter, but also they're feminine and they're fun and they're bright and they're bold. And these will make wonderful flowers. And in your introductory booklet that you get free with your first order, it shows you how to make a flower actually out of the uh, through drill drops. Because they're through drilled, they're very easy to just stick a ball head pin through and make a loop. Then you've got a pair of earrings. I mean, it's um, so easy. Yeah, very, very simple. Very, very simple. simple, very effective. Hannah, you're a big fan of colour blocking. These look mm. great with a royal blue, wouldn't they? Oh, they'd look fabulous with a royal blue. And also, if you're looking like an emerald green or a bright Ooh, orange, yes. just really mix it up. And like we were saying with Fiona earlier, it is all about those big, colourful, vibrant mm. pieces at the moment because everyone's Brazil mad. I know they are I'm even watching the documentaries on Rio <laughs> yeah. I'm obsessed with that I think it's the best thing on TV apart from jewelry maker obsessed mm -hmm. with the Rio documentaries <laughs> um, the colors yeah it's all about color at the moment yes and, and you know what it is it is all about color we're having a big projector on the side of the house Aye. next Saturday uh, obviously if it rains we'll be in the house but we're all watching it in the garden with a barbecue and it projected on the wall outside uh, now, I don't even like football, but it's an excuse to get outside, isn't it? KOK Z80, it's about the atmosphere, and this strand has definitely got that. Mm -hmm. It's a celebration colour, it's bold, it's bright, it's feminine. It's going to make a phenomenal brooch. Very ornamental, actually, it could be. You could make a fuchsia piece with purple and green. Mm -hmm. Think about what's out there in nature. This is a pink that you'll see in the hanging baskets. £7.95 pence is where it should be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 
$5.95, the lowest ever price tag for this strand. Snap it up, quick smart. We've only got 15 or 50? 50, we've only got 50. It's a good price tag, Hannah Ox, isn't it? It's a very good price tag, yep. It's an incredible price tag. These are genuine quartz, right? Yeah, these are quartz um, drops, and I just love the faceting on this. If you can see quite close up on the camera, you've got long line facets at the top, and then they sort of cluster into smaller facets along the bottom, and it's just those little added details that make the drops really spectacular. Well, it gives you a better luster, a better it does. sparkle. It really does. Oh my gosh, can you imagine this with black onyx? Oh, black onyx perfect round at the combination. Top. Absolutely Very perfect. sexy. Mmm. We've got a text from Mark in Shropshire. Hannah, looking good today. Oh, <laughs> who could that be? Who's I don't know, Mr. I don't J? Know. I don't know. I don't know. Is that from Mr. Ox? <laughs> <laughs> it's from Mr. Ox. Oh. oh. Thanks, Mom. She's got pink now. <laughs> Should we tell you a secret? Gems. Hannah's got a boyfriend. It's not really a secret, actually, because I told everyone yeah, before. Yeah, you did. You announced it on air, didn't And you? then he came down here and I said, sorry about that inappropriate comment I said to you. I did, I did say a bit of an inappropriate comment. It was a bit of an inappropriate By comment. By the way, Mark, can I just tell you something? I said to Hannah upstairs a minute ago, can I tell him? Yeah, I don't even know what you said. Um, about you can't find a house. <laughs> I can't find a house, I can't find a house. I went, you're doing what all of us girls do. <laughs> oh, I've got to move out of my house, I can't find a house. <laughs> Come and live with me. Really, thanks. <laughs> we know what we're doing, Mark. She wants to, she's got her slippers under your bed. What will be next? <laughs> uh, Emily. <laughs> it's true, Mark, I did it. <laughs> Except I was quicker moving with her. You got, honestly. Have you got any clothes in his house and stuff no, yet? No, no, no. That's going to happen tonight, right? <laughs> You've got to move fast. <laughs> the harder it is for him to get rid of you, the more he oh, can't God. be bothered. That's my theory. He can't be bothered to get rid of me. He'll have to chuck all this stuff out. That's what. I, that's why I've lasted so long. Uh, what was that? What was Mrs. Lee saying? Bring it back. Good day, Jenny and Hannah. Hello, Mrs. Lee. <coughs> I hate to upset the two of you, but the sun is shining in the sky. It's blue here <laughs> in East Kent. I can't wait for the bangle mould. I hope Mia is fully recovered after a fall from it. Thank you, darling. Uh, please send her my love, love and hugs, Lee in sunny Kent. Well, she is all right. Sore, mm. hurty coccyx. And like I said, she's had this one party since we've moved and everybody's been talking about it. And I said, you're not going to be able to go. We've decided she's going to go tonight. So that's what the uh, buzz in the house was this morning. Now, can we do the kit now? Come on. Let's just do it. I don't care what you say. Come <laughs> on. Now. When you see this, you'll think, well, what am I going to do with this? <laughs> All will be revealed, my darling jewellery makers. You will think, what am I going to do with this? Now, have a look. You have got, should I take the backing off? Go for it, show yeah. you? I mean, arguably, that's uh, my floor manager's job, but we all know he's too posh to work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, he went. You know, you wouldn't get away with this anywhere else. You know that. They don't do. They don't have yeah, this on GMTV. Uh, Jeremy Kyle doesn't have to put up with this stuff. Yeah, no. I'm not Jeremy Kyle. Did you say? I'd be better than Jeremy Kyle at life advice. What do you reckon? I think we should do it on the show. I think we should. Um, I always ask people to sort my problems out though on the show. Like, <laughs> yeah. should I let my son have this haircut? Should I get a cat or a dog? Should I have a rescue dog? Why are there mushrooms outside in my path? No Why do I That's not the right time you have mushrooms. I'm telling you, I'm at my front door. From my front door to my car, which is a long way, mushrooms. Oh. And you remember the time I opened my front door and there were cats all over my front garden? <laughs> yeah, 23 cats <laughs> in my front garden. Just like this. It was like, <laughs> it was like a nightmare. It was, I actually thought this is a horror, this is the start of a horror film. <laughs> Should we have a look at what you're getting? <laughs> yeah. Hannah, what is this? <laughs> These are A5 uh, with three mil thickness per spec sheets. A5 with three mil thickness per spec sheets. Yep. 
what can I do with Perspex? Absolutely anything. I know it looks completely strange in this kind of format, but Perspex is a really, really malleable product. You can work it into bangles, you can work it into pendants, brooches, all sorts of things. But it's a really lovely, tough substance as well. So you can make really lovely forms from these pieces. Again, these are mediums that are used by the big designers. Versace Absolutely. has yeah. um, a collection. Vivian Westwood has a collection. Has collection yeah. Chanel has a collection. Mm -hmm. So if you want to start doing things, uh, maybe appealing to a whole different audience. You know, if you're doing Gloucester Keys Fair, for instance, you get a lot of people mm -hmm. because there's an outlet centre there. A lot of people liking their labels. So it'd be a great. Just think about your audience. Think about your your clientele. You're also getting 0.4 uh, gold wire. 10 metres of that. Then you have got 115 findings. Love these new findings. And my favourite thing in the world, seedy beads. Oh, I love seedy beads. This one's in a knot. Well, I'm, I'm, um, I have never stopped talking about geometric beading, have I? This has been knotted in the, in the middle, but it's all right, you can get them out. You get little tiny two mil agate seedy beads. I, you know I'm a lumatic, those are going in my loom. You've got absolutely everything you need to create a Perspex calf. THG C91, we're gonna see exactly what this is gonna create. Now listen, the price is phenomenal. Under 20 pounds for all of this on the website is already a wonderful deal. However, <laughs> we're going to take it down. THG C91 is your item code. 14.95. That's happening. For under 15, just get it. Get it 14. Let's go and see what you can make. Because I think um, you might like me be thinking, well, it's all very well, Jenny, but I'm not going to pay 14.95. I don't know what the blue pin <coughs> neck I'm going to do with it. Well, I know I'm going to show you my dog. Well, I'm not. Hannah is. Let's trot <laughs> over to that lovely lady. I was just about to have a drink of water. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Now, no, it, I was going to have the water, but I just realised. Um, Scott has just put a cup there and not the one. <laughs> this is why I actually love Scott. He's, he's amazing. He Pop is Scott just is completely... Uh, well, he's not even here. He's gone. He's gone. He can't hear us. Have a look. This is why Kaz is brilliant, because she not only is she a camera says, girl, oh. she's also... Yeah, look. Look at her. Look, she's <laughs> even pouring me a drink. Thanks, Kaz. Would you like to join me in a beverage? I have one down here. Oh. <laughs> Did she get it from the Kaz bar? I don't get it. Is that a bar? <laughs> oh, here he is. Part-timer. Now. <laughs> Have a look at what you can create. Isn't this wonderful? I love the design. Hannah, the design is fantastic. Tell me what inspired you. Well, I've been really, really inspired, as we said earlier, by all sort of big cuffs and the very heavy metal work of Chanel that is featuring quite heavily in the news at the moment. And also, um, a lot of the Sunday supplements, you know they have those like jewellery pages yeah, in yeah. them? It's all about big crazy cuffs, so I thought, let's do some big cuff designs. So and the celebrities the are in those Sunday magazines, and I always look at their jewellery. Amanda Holden is everywhere at the moment. She yes. was wearing a cuff last night on the... Uh, Alan Carr show, wasn't she? Yeah, she, she looks was, amazing. Yeah. She's so pretty. She's I want to look cool. like her. I want to wear stuff like her. Hmm. If, if you can make that happen, yeah. that would be good. So just um, just talk me through how, what, what exactly, in fact, I need to be able to well, create Well, what we need is obviously our perfect sheets, as per the bundle earlier. And mm -hmm. they come in, as I said, A5 size, 3 mil thickness. And the great thing about making cuffs and bangles out of perspex is you only have to make one cup. You only have to make one cup. You only have to make one cup because the A5 sheets are the perfect size, width ways, to make bangles out of. How many bangles do you make? Oh, I suppose it depends on how thick you are. You, you yeah. can make lots you of bangles out of You can make lots and lots and lots out of one sheet of Perspex, which is really great because it's time saving. You're only cutting once. You don't have to polish loads either. It's perfect. Width or length ways? Width. width. Oh, lovely. Width. So you get loads and loads and loads and loads all the way down. Fantastic. Like so. But how do I cut it, Hannah? Okay, so what we do to cut any of the perspex is we can use uh, one of our German saw frames. 
Uh, this one has one of the smaller blades in. Uh -huh. Whenever you're using a saw frame with the blades, you have to put them in and ensure there's enough tension on the blade to cut the perspex. You don't want the blade sort of wibbling about all over the place because it won't cut properly. You'll end up snagging it in the perspex and it will break. Saw blades have to be inserted like a witch's nose. Like a witch's nose? Like a witch's nose. I've never inserted a witch's nose. <laughs> you what are you talking about? You insert a witch's nose, wouldn't you? <laughs> inserted like a witch's nose. You do, it does all I've become I've never hurt. inserted a witch's <laughs> nose into anything, <laughs> You could. Good if you wanted. We're back on Halloween again, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> what are you Actually, talking no. about? Um, so <laughs> basically, what, I, what that means is when it comes to the saw blade, it needs to be pointing down and across like a witch's nose. So these little bits here. I don't get it. Like a point. So, ra so they're coming down and going across like a witch's nose. Okay. Because if you're up the other way, they won't cut. Do we get that? Do I understand that? Say it again. So they come, the points on your saw blade yeah. always come down at an angle. And oh, I see, across, right, yes, sorry. Like I didn't get, I didn't know you meant the teeth, right? Yeah, right. That's, that's the word I was looking for. Yeah, teeth. I was confused after the word inserted. <laughs> <laughs> Most people are. Okay, so basically what we do is we're going to uh, lay out our design onto the Perspex sheet. Now I've drawn out my design in um, like a permanent marker, so when you're cutting and polishing and things like that, you're not rubbing the design off, off the top of the, the Perspex sheet. And notice... Go on. Should I keep the... Yes. <laughs> Should I keep that? Because uh, the first yeah. thing I did was I want to rip that off and look at the colour. You can do. Don't do that. Don't. I would advise not to. You can do, but it just makes the job harder at the end when you've got to polish it all. Okay. So if you leave all of the clear, all the plastic covering on, it just means you don't have to spend ages and ages per, um, polishing the surface of the perspex afterwards. And it's not going to be harder to cut no, with that No, it doesn't make any on. difference. Pers cutting perspex is like cutting butter. It is so, so, so easy and it soft. It is. I've done it before with you, and, oh, yeah. it, and it actually is. And what's very surprising, Hannah, is even if you don't want to do a straight line, actually doing curves is quite just easy. Just as easy as well. All mm -hmm. you've got to think of is just like a pair of scissors, but you've just got a sheet of perspex instead of a sheet of paper, and a saw instead of a pair of scissors. That's the only difference. It's just as simple. So I'm going to give everybody the saw. Mm -hmm. This is kind of essential if you are going to be using perspex. Yep. You've got the saw. I think it comes with the blades too, but mine's been open. So. Um, the blades would be separately on the website. Um, the blades they're coming are separate in on the website. next week. So. Okay, so you've got the saw here ready. Your saw frame, it's a German style saw frame, three inch saw frame at £10.95. pence. Wonderful for quite a lot of different reasons, but can I cut with my Dremel as well? You can cut with your Dremel as well. Um, you, you've got different um, drill bits and things like that, w which will allow you to cut. Um, but it's easier, and also you get a slightly more um, s better skill set if you practice with the saw and learn how to use the saw. Because as you can see from this week's launch, we are going into things like sheet metal and things like that. So if you practice on Perspex, easier. it's uh, yeah, much, much mm. easier than to go into sheet metal. Mm -hmm. To initially begin the cut, what you need to do is take one of your needle files, again available on the website, and just make a score into the perspex itself. And what that's doing is just creating a little notch, just a tiny little notch, to put your saw blade into. If you try and cut, you can end up slipping and that just sort of ruins the edge of the perspex. Uh -huh. If you've made that notch, the uh, saw blade itself sits beautifully in that notch and you've already got half the cut going, ready to continue the cut through. Right -o. So to cut the perspex, what we're doing, it's, um, I'm sort of sitting down at the moment because I've busted money this week, but it's fine. So it's a little bit of an awkward demo. But to cut the perspex, you'd be working on a bench peg, which again, I think we can bring on screen in just a moment. I'll go get it. <laughs> okay, so at, sort of at your craft table, things anvil. work. Anvil. Yeah, anvil and bunch peg. Um, work off that because you're not damaging any surface of your table and it gives you a really, really flat surface to work from as well. And it's literally a case of keeping the saw upright and in a really swift up and down motion. And obviously, the longer the um, the strokes, if you like, of the saw, the more you're cutting. And you can see, I've only been cutting a couple of seconds. I've already cut about an inch into that perspex. Yeah, fine. Okay, so Easy. you just carry that on across the whole sheet of the perspex. If at any point you get to a stage where you can't quite cut all the way through because you've got the back of the saw hitting the perspex, you take the saw blade out and just continue the cut from the other side. 
don't just pull the saw blade out because it will snap. You have to saw backwards oh. to remove the saw. Oh, good tip. Okay, because that's just, you don't want it snagging on anything. Saw blades will break after all, it's just the nature of them. To ensure you don't put any extra pressure on, on the saw blade itself, you just cut up and down without tipping the saw blade forward or without pulling it backwards. If you tip it forward, you're putting pressure and you're bending the saw blade itself and that will damage it, it will cause friction, it will, it will snap. So keep it nice and straight. Nice and straight, just up and down whilst putting pressure onto the perfect sheet with your other hand. And that's all you need to do. I'm not putting, I'm not pushing into the perspex at all. I'm just literally letting the saw do all of the work. And again, saw backwards to take the saw blade out. Perfect. And you can see, with just a little bit of cutting, we've already cut an inch into the perspex itself. As so quick once and I've, simple. Once I've gone all the way down, mm -hmm. it looks like the strip that you gave us. It does here. look like the strip here. But before we go on to that, you were talking about clamping with an yep. anvil. Absolutely. Talk to me about. How an anvil is useful not only for resin but for other projects. Sorry, again, something that should have been done previously <laughs> by my floor manager, but again, he was work. thinking about his ivory back scratcher again. <laughs> now, <laughs> so this is um, an anvil and bench peg, and this is what I would recommend to work into your designs. I have mine set up on my um, bench all the time when I'm working at home, and it literally clamps onto the table this way round. Yeah. So this screws into the table and this bit comes out from the table and you can work off the, the peg itself. I don't need to add anything to my table, I don't need to start drilling into my table. No, nope, not at all. This, this you can drill into it, saw into it, that piece works as your, your stationary platform and it's there to protect your table so you're mm -hmm. not drilling into your table, you're not cutting into your table. You've also got the added advantage of the steel block on top so if you're doing things like um, hammering any metal or anything like that you can use this area here the other thing that's really good is you can sort of butt designs up against the um, edge of the anvil like so and again it gives you a really nice cut and a good tension there doesn't yeah it? it's this wooden block doesn't come with a lot of these does no it? So usually they are sold separately so it's nice to have them all included mm. in one if you're into your things like gem setting this is an absolutely just it's a God essential then. tool what, um, one of the first things you do when you're silversmithing is you cut um, a triangle into or a little curve into your bench peg. I have several bench pegs at home which I have different shapes cut into because you can literally then just stick your, your ring stick. So imagine you're sitting at your desk, your ring stick with your gemstoning tools, you're pushing oh, yeah, into yeah. it and that's giving you resistance to then set your gemstones as well rather than trying to do it sort of up here whilst you've got no, fiddly then, no background. Yeah, it? and that's, it's just a perfect tool for that. So to make less fiddly a job of things, 995 is your bench peg um, anvil. Now you, and a combination anvil, these haven't been in stock for a while, have they, Hannah? No, they haven't been on the website for a little while, so we've, we've just had a delivery of them. So, so they're yeah. back in stock for the first time in a long time. 995 GDG X02 is your item code. You can give us a call at 800 644 or you can shop online. It's jerrymaker.com. Okay. What are you up to now, Hannah? So we have cut the strip out, which, as I said earlier, is the width of the Perspex sheet itself, and onto which I have drawn my design. Now, I found the center point of this particular sheet, it's about uh, two inches, two and a half inches of width, and I've used, I found actually, a five pence piece makes brilliant that's size. That's 5p, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's a five pence. I've just, it's uh, bigger than a five p. It does, yeah, you draw so around the edge. Penny? No, definitely a five pence piece. Really? Mm -hmm. Five P's are tiny. But then I'm using a marker pen around it, so oh, that yeah, does make right, it a bit bigger. Use, yeah. And then <laughs> onto which I'm then drilling. By the way, I'm arguing with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was not a five P. Yes, it was. was. <laughs> no, I've never seen a five P like that. <laughs> it was, it was. And <laughs> I don't know why I was arguing. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> We're not normally allowed on together, so <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> so um. onto that, I've then marked out all my different sort of areas where I want to drill. And this is where your Dremel comes into yes. play, our favourite oh, tool. I've been waiting, I've been waiting to show you the Dremel. <laughs> this is the best tool you are ever, ever, ever going to buy, not just for jewellery mm -hmm. making, but for crafting. If you consider yourself a bit of a crafter, and this one, mm -hmm. if your chaps, 
getting cross at all this jewellery making, he's going to love it too because there are things he's going to be able to do. Also, you can get a, a block and write names you on can. it. So it's yep. great for kids' bedrooms. Well, uh, this morning, anything like that. I actually realised I hadn't charged mine. So um, I had a bit of a flat and said to, to Mark, I was like, oh, you know, you're not going to be able to. Oh, who's Mark? Who's Mark? He said, I've got this a Dremel. This morning, does that mean you stayed at his house <laughs> last night, Hannah? I went, Way! I'm not even going to justify that with an answer. But... <laughs> Which makes my imagination run even wilder. But this is a really good tip. If you're trying to get one and your other half saying to you, oh, you know, you know, I don't want to spend that much or whatever, he can use it too because Mark has one he brought from us. Does he? What's he yep. use his for? Uh, model planes. Does Is he a model plane mm. maker? Yeah. It's a crafty family already. Yep. Imagine if you breeded, you'd have the perfect crafting baby. There's going to be no breeding. Well, all. that's what you say. That's what you say. I beg to differ. <laughs> I give it three months. Now... Uh, anyway, anyway we're back to this demo at <laughs> any point <laughs> today. <laughs> the Dremel literally is the best tool ever. I love this tool. Mm -hmm. You can do so much. Look at what you get. Not only are you getting the stencils in there for free, you are also getting all of these tools included. The buffer tools. You are getting... Oh, you can clean brass with this yes, too. Absolutely. Look. It's literally the best. See, that would be enough for my other half, who is the king of jet washing everything. There you go. Yesterday I came home and he jet washed the entire garden furniture set. Uh, now, look, anything like this, you can clean things with the buffers. You can drill holes with this. You can carve pumpkins with this. You can do your model aeroplanes with this, it seems. You can use this with your perspex. You can use this with your jewel enamel. Mm -hmm. You can drill hole things. You can do so much. You can use this with your sheet metal. Mm -hmm. It is the essential, essential tool. I, it comes, uh, now you do get, I think you get a DVD in here, don't you, to show yeah, how you use it. You get a free tutorial DVD. I'm going to go ahead and open it myself again. It even comes in its handy, it handy tool. Now it's Swiss made, isn't it? Is that right? I believe they are, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's Swiss made and it comes with uh, a warranty, a really long warranty, which is on here somewhere. Uh, you can polish with it, you can go into, oh, you can engrave glass with it as well, you can engrave silver with it. Here's everything you get. But it's such a professional tool, Hannah. It is. Here's it really the is. DVD. It comes with a tutorial DVD, which is step by step by step. Gemma Crow has one of the, I think a lot, a lot, lot of, of it. The designers I'm do. sure Rachel Norris has got one. Mm -hmm. It is an essential crafty tool. Dremel is um, a, a really big name mm -hmm. in crafty in the craft world dremel does have its own solder but this doesn't have a solder in with it does mm -hmm. it somebody's asked does the solder come in that is a separate tool and is usually um, on our website check out for availability of that and i'm going to show you what it comes with you get your charger it is mains operated charger you can shop for this overseas obviously you will have to have an adapter in there it's got a uk plug on it uh, at the moment then your dremel itself you can use this to cut through the perspex yes yep. we're getting lots of questions uh, then you've got loads of different filing bits and drill bits uh, even more drill bits here as well. You then get all of your stencils. I love the case it comes in. I'm trying to look for the warranty on this because I know it's got a really extended warranty. For it. I think it's a two-year warranty on it from Dremel as well. Could could be longer. I'll find it in a minute. Have a look. Here's an example of some of the things you can etch into plates. You can etch into plates. You can do all sorts. Um, things like uh, polishing your silver clay, um, if you're like me. And or any silver, your jewellery. Or any silver, silver jewellery, yeah. yeah. Um, if you have dexterity problems and find polishing in particular very difficult, it is an absolute godsend for that because you get all your polishing mops in the extra pack, you get your little jeweller's rouge block mm -hmm. in there as well, so you've got all of your um, instruments you need to carry on polishing, creating a really, really lovely high shine finish. Now, as you can imagine, this is an... Well, actually, it is going at a great price. Mm -hmm. It is going to be... Um, not, I, I don't think it's undoable. It's under £100. Now, I already want it for... I'd buy it for £99, yeah, knowing absolutely. that I had a wonderful tool that it can <coughs> suit me in so many different ways. A lot of you do other crafts, which we appreciate, so this is perfect for you. Have a look at when you etch into glass, you can make those little tea lights. Oh, yeah. <coughs> you can use, and use the stencils <coughs> to create the patterns on that as well. 
I mean, we could go on. Yeah, yeah. Probably <clears> for <throat> an hour. Oh, easily. Giving you advice on what you can do with this. I would say if you buy no other tool ever, mm. buy this. Yeah. Because it will do so much. Recommended by guest designer Sammy, who sent us in a text. I love my Dremel. It's the most used tool I own. It's great for so many mediums. I can't emphasize enough how versatile this is. And you're right. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna give you a price tag. Remember we do take credit cards. Hannah and I said, neither of us are financial advisors, but we're both girls who get our credit cards out <laughs> when we have to. And this one is definitely worth it. $79.95, we do take credit cards. I agree that, you know, as far as tools go, that's a price you might have to go, oh, shallow, shan't I? Believe me, you've got a 30 day money back guarantee with us. You've got a warranty with Dremel. Dremel has a wonderful reputation for producing quality tools made in Europe. So having to comply with all the standards of manufacturing, which are meticulous. Believe me, you, I used to work in uh, uh, UK manufacturers and there are so many laws. You know what? You've got quality. You've got the extra tools. Now, if you try and shop elsewhere, you, do, you, you probably won't see a Dremel coming with all of these tools. You also get with us the instruction DVD, the case, the instruction booklet. The Dremel is phenomenal. Mary, you've got yours. Barbara and Wendy and Andrea, you've got yours. Janet and Gina, you've got yours. $79.95. Remember, we do take credit cards, and I, all right, it is a bit more of a considered purchase, but it is worth it and more. I would, having had this, having used mm. this, I would pay a hundred pounds for this and still be happy that it is a tool I will use all the time. Absolutely. Every season, when it's Christmas, <clears throat> you can make gifts. You can just get a simple block of wood and you can make, with the stencils, put something pretty on it and make somebody a name plaque. Uh, we've used our Dremel to do the horse plaques at mm -hmm. the uh, stables and they're great. Out of scrap wood, that, do you know where we took the wood from? You know, bed slats. Yeah, yeah. We, we took a bed apart and we used bed oh. slats and we put names on the horse, the, did the horsey That's names. That's a fantastic idea. It's, it, but this is, this, uh, there was no way I could have done that without this tool. Not at all. And for me, I, I had previously, in a previous existence, a much, much, much cheaper version and I regretted it the moment I brought it because it just didn't, it didn't last, it didn't hold But you power. didn't have a 30 day money back I guarantee, I certainly didn't did have you? a 30 day money back guarantee. And, um, and also it wasn't, you couldn't travel with it. You know, I have a Dremel set up on this my bench. This is rechargeable, you can yeah, travel with it, of exactly. course you can. It's, it's so much perfect. easier than having a lead. Absolutely, my, my other Dremel I have um, set up on my bench at home and that, that is great because it you know sits in place and, and what have you. But I couldn't bring it to work, I couldn't do all my demos out of mm. work for it and this is just perfect for that because it can go everywhere because it's just cordless as well you know what I'm like we're tripping over things oh my goodness oh me too yeah so you know it's just really really simple it holds like a pen it's lightweight as well I think a lot of people look at it and think oh that's gonna be really heavy and it's you know difficult what's, you know it's interesting as well about the flex because I can imagine if I'm trying to write with it yeah if I had a flexi lead on it that would restrict the way I moved yeah. with it yeah now there's no restrictions here you can work in an upwards angle a mm -hmm. sidewards angle you can do that you have all the drill bits this does come with the drill bits people are asking am i not getting uh, do i have to buy them separately nope. they come with that I, I know if you do a web search you'll be looking and seeing a, a similar if not higher price tag without the added drill bits we are going to give you the buffing tools we are going to give to you all these different tools for you to be able to do so much more with your dremel uh, very big warning Dremels are addictive. <laughs> yeah. Dremels are addictive. And if you're, if the other half's looking at you and you're looking at him, he can use this for so many practical reasons. <laughs> you can drill with it. You can do all sorts of things with it. You could share it, go halves. Half the stock of this has gone and been allocated. We can see the quantity going down rapidly. I, I promise you with my hand on my heart, cross my heart, I hope that I stick 10,000 needles in my eye. <laughs> This is going to be the best tool you have yeah. ever, ever bought. You're going to be so glad. And I promise you that the quality is outstanding. 
Sissy says, I have three Dremels. When you get one, you will wonder yeah. why it took so long to buy that is one. so true. Sissy, thank you. <laughs> why has she got three? Just because she can. Just because she can, because they're just that great. They I are wonderful. Three, I think. So yeah, I thank absolutely love them. So, so let's see it in action, Let's, let's have a look. So basically the Dremel, this particular Dremel has two speeds, high and low, and obviously with off in the middle. Is that something else? Uh, similar tools just have one speed setting. Yeah, and that's really frustrating because you want to be able to either gently polish with the low mm -hmm. or quickly cut something with the high. Or it's really buff up to a high yeah, shine Yeah, really, with the high. exactly. Yeah. And it's much, much easier. And there's just no confusion. It's just mm -hmm. two, two settings, brilliant. It's important to note now, Hannah, you're only going to use one of the drill bits. But in fact, there are so many tools that come with this. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. not just about drilling. It's also about etching into glass. Etching, it's also yeah. about uh, you can uh, burnish into wood. You can do so much with this. Well, if we get the, if we get time later, I can show how to do stone setting with it as well. Stone setting? You can stone set with it? Yeah, you can use all the little, um, the other attachments. For? Yeah, the little uh, burr drill bits. How do you stone set with that? You can create little um, holes into the perspex which you then glue the stones into. Oh I like it, I like it, I like it. Really really quick and easy thing to do. So we can we show need that a Dremel, later. we need one. We Listen, like I said, don't take financial advice from me but get the credit card out <laughs> girls! Put this one on, you'll be so pleased you did. Yeah exactly. So to use it in this particular instance, I've got my drill bit set up ready. And to change your drill bit, the actual uh, sort of spanner and chuck do come in the kit itself. You simply press this little blue button down and you'll see there's little notches around the, the side of the chuck there. Fit the spanner into those notches. Always easier if you're doing it towards you rather than away from you. There we are. There you go. And then you twist it away to loosen. And then you can unwind it by hand and then move the drill bit out I bet Alison Tarry's got one of these. Oh, she must do. Because you can twist wire in it. You can twist wire in yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. If you have your wire um, sort of anchored at one that. point, um, take the drill bit out and you've got the little chucks inside. Yeah, it goes around. Pop the wire oh. in, into there, grip the wire down, twist your wire. You can twist your wire. So if you've got dexterity problems, actually, I'd say if you want to do certain things, this, uh, this tool is in fact essential. It absolutely is. I mean, it completely, completely changed my life because it's so much easier to get things done really, really quickly. And when use. your arm didn't work the other day, that would have, when you slap <laughs> the My arm never works. And for me it's great because I can't sit and hold with one hand and polish with the other. I just can't do it. So for me, I can stick my polishing mops in my Dremel and I can polish to a really, really high sign finish mm -hmm. as well. It's brilliant. So we've, we've tightened that up. You see, you push the button down, tighten it back up to make sure the drill bit is nice and secure in there. And then pop it onto the low setting. So it's to the right for the low setting. To the right for low, they are labelled. Look how easily it fits in Hannah's hand as well. And I've got no problems holding it, it's not heavy at all. And it doesn't, you know, sometimes when you hold a drill, it's like, uh, you're fighting to keep it still. This one's yeah. very, very nice and still. In it goes. Look, and it done. makes such light work. You didn't even put any pressure on that, Hannah. No, it's going I'm not pushing it down through. at all. Isn't this wonderful? They're almost sold out, we're in single figures. I have five unchecked baskets. I have people on the phone lines with Catherine, Laurie and Val, anonymous in Cambridgeshire. Make sure you're checking out your baskets. And done. Fantastic. Check out baskets right now. I've got eight left and I've got Diane, Carolyn, anonymous in Okay, we should just checked out. Don't ignore that one. Uh, <laughs> Diane, Laurie and Val, you need to check out baskets, otherwise you're going to miss out. We have now got seven left. You've got to be quick. And obviously, with the Perspex, it does kick up quite a lot of dust. So I wear my glasses when I'm working with it to ensure none goes in my eyes. It's just a little bit of health and safety. Mm -hmm. Make sure you wear protective eyewear if you're working Can with Can we start stocking uh, safety goggles, do you think? Probably. <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So there you go. I've made really light work of that. That took just seconds, just to drill all my holes all no the way pressure. through. No pressure on that. It's not. It's not heavy. It's not putting any pressure on my arm to use it at all. It's just really, really quick and simple. I can use this in my polymer clay. Yes. I can use this with my resin. Mm -hmm. I can use this with my jewel enamel. With my silver clays, it's wonderful for buffing. Yeah. There is. I, I can't think of anything this isn't perfect for. It's no. now twisting wire, which it's I now never twisting knew. Wire. And the great thing is Debbie um, Bolford's lovely husband, Brian, does some amazing work engraving um, agate slabs. So he engraves, sort of using stencils, yes. using the Dremel, and then puts gleam over the top to pick out the patterns, and it looks just oh, fantastic. You can engrave into your cabochons. Yeah, absolutely. It looks so cool. A lovely, just, I mean, if you say your name was Belinda and you did a bee, mm -hmm. 
It would be beautiful. It would really, and you can really personalise your jewellery then. Or even if you have a logo, you can engrave your logo into yeah. things and things. It's just a really nice touch. I for love your it, making. and it will work on the little silver tags that we've got. You yes. can engrave into yes, silver. Mm -hmm. There is so we've only got five, and I've got Sylvia, Diane, Laurie, and Val. That's four of you with unchecked baskets, and I've got three people on the phone lines. Kim's just joined us from Wiltshire. Elizabeth from Dorset's just joined us. Emma, you've got yours. Cassandra, Kay, Elaine, Catherine in Essex. Uh, Anonymous in Cambridge, you hit your basket, well done. Anonymous in Leicestershire, Jeanette in Nottinghamshire, Mary, Barbara, loads of you have got this. Sylvia, Diane, Laurie and Val, you must check out your basket or you're about to miss out. Don't forget you have got a 30 day money back guarantee. If you change your mind in the interim, you just send it straight back. Maureen and Fife just checked out, uh, but if, if you miss out, we've only got four and there's four of you. Now Anonymous has joined us as well. One of you that with an unchecked basket now is going to miss out, undoubtedly. I've got Anonymous with an unchecked basket, Sylvia, um, Diane, Val, Sandra in Oxford, cheers, now just joined us as well. You have to check out your basket, otherwise you are going to miss out. We've now got three remaining. Okay, so once we've done all the drilling, once you've got your design sorted on the, on the top of your perspex, you want to be able to polish down all these edges to make them nice and shiny. You'll notice what I've actually done, using my needle files, I've just taken the edges off and that just makes it a lot, lot better if you're going to wear it as a cuff so you've not got sharp sort of oh, corners yeah. sticking in, so Good round tip. everything off. And then go along. I've got that tool in my Dremel, so mm -hmm. I can actually do this yeah. with my Dremel. Yeah, absolutely, as well. you can. You can buff and polish. I always go back to um, doing it by hand because I like to do the first stage by hand mm -hmm. and then finish off with a Dremel. Okay. That's just how I was trained to, to make jewellery. But you'll see, even when I'm using files and things like that, I'm using the flat side of the file against the flat edge of the perspex and when I come if I want to do sort of any indentations into it I would use the rounded side to go into it and mm. it just makes a much much better finish so you literally go all the way along removing all of the um, saw blades that you've you've made you can see it just makes little sort of nicks within the um, perspex itself and you just go through with the file polishing that all off evening it all up as well remember we only have to do one side because we only had to cut one side so it's perfect we've only got one dremel, one dremel left oh and my goodness. still Yvette, Sylvia, Diane and Val have not checked their baskets out only one of you, three of you are going to miss out you have to check your basket out it's, oh, I couldn't be without be my dremel you'll be gutted, yeah, you really it's will. one of those things You'll be gutted if you don't check. We've got one left and four unchecked baskets. It just needs, you just need it because it makes such quick work of everything. You've got a 30-day money-back guarantee. Mm. If you're sat there thinking, oh, just do it now and then send Think it about back. If you, if you've yeah. thought about it and gone, actually, no, I'm not going to make that commitment, send it back. Yep. And you've got no obligations there, which is brilliant. So once we've done all our filing, we obviously want to bring the perspex up to a really, really high mm. shine finish. And to do that, we can obviously use our Dremel, which is perfect, but I want to give you other options as well. Yeah, because if, if I couldn't stretch the Dremel, yeah. I still want this. Yeah, exactly. So we've got um, a lovely selection of sanding sponges on the website, uh, which go up in fineness. So you always start with the lowest number. Uh, in this case, I think it's 180 um, on, on your grit. And the nice thing about the sponges is you can really push down on them and you see it's hugging the edge of the perspex. And what that's going to do is then create a lovely sort of chamfer to the edge as well. So it's rounded and just a little bit of polishing. Obviously, you can take a lot more time over it at home. If I do a little section, you can see how quickly you can get this done. You can already see how much that's bringing up the shine on the yeah, perspex already itself. Yeah, it's, it's coming back. There you go nice little shine to it and you just literally move up the grades of the sanding paper there so moving up the grades do it really quickly you can see that there's lots and lots and lots to finish with and then up to the highest one which I think is about 280 so obviously the higher the number the more fine the sander so I've only done a tiny little bit on this perfect side just so you can see the difference so I can get that into shot what you've got here it's a lovely polished sort of finish there against this side which still shows the cuts. So the cuts or the polish there. I've got the, I was trying to tell Scott that I needed the sanders. He passed me water, tissue <laughs> and a DVD. But didn't you like how I just carried on? I just kept talking, I thought just, just go I love with it. you, you're the best. <laughs> it's just like brilliant. I need something and he's like, 
you want water? And I'm like, no. And, and the thing is that Kaz is really good at lip reading. I'm going, yeah. and she knows it. Now, now, I don't know what school of lip reading Tom went to, but for example, if I say water, he'll go, she wants a dog. <laughs> she did. She's gone to the south of France. She likes the colour blue. I'm going. Men can't lip read. I think I've got quite a big mouth for, um, for lip reading. I mean, look, what am I saying? Hello. Yes, <laughs> I am. <laughs> Shall we give you the... <laughs> the Dremel's gone. Who got it? Who got the last one? We don't know because we don't know. <laughs> because, because two people checked out the bus at exactly the same Ooh. time. They were trying to place bets in there. Well, Tory Maker does not condone gambling. Although it is quite fun sometimes. Now, you have got your three um, buffing blocks that Hannah was talking about. These are wet and dry and can be used yep. with uh, silver clay and polymer, polymer clay, and jewel and enamel. I mean, they're, they're, again, if you're using um, crafting mediums that aren't uh, your findings or your gemstones, then I would say these are pretty much essential to get in your yep. stash, actually. Uh, you get the three. They, they feel that they feel all sandy. So I'm, not, I'm like, ooh. You know when they make you go, ooh. They do ooh. feel all sandy. So that's definitely yeah. a word Well, that's for them. the whole point of them. They should be. Oh, they smell good. <laughs> oh, I, lo I do love a sniff of something, yeah. I do. I have to smell things, do you not? No. Don't you? Not everything, oh, no. Oh, I do. <laughs> I do. Do they smell good? They should be 23.85. They smell like um, men. <laughs> you know, like men that do like labouring work. Seventeen ninety-five. Not only do you get the scratchety pads, <laughs> you also smell the men. Seventeen ninety-five. Are you sniffing me? Yeah, I'm just sniffing you. I don't really smell of anything. <laughs> <laughs> I bet Scott that smells color. of caviar. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Caviar, you had it in your sandwiches earlier, darling. Uh, now, what are you up to now? OK, so we've the polishing. We have to imagine, use our imagination, we've polished it all the way around, so it's really, really nice, high shine finish. And this is my favourite bit, because you get to do the reveal. Oh, yeah, I like this bit. Peel, peel, peel it off. It, peel it off, it's great. And what you're left with, rather than all of the sort of scratch surface, lovely, lovely, high shine finish to your perspex mm. there. Oh, look, you can see Whee! straight through, it's lovely. And you've got all your little dots in place, ready to start wrapping, should I say, your wire. Not whapping. Not whapping. You're not Jonathan That's something, <laughs> something else completely. Um, so yes, let's just grab that. Hannah Bennett's back, everyone. Look at her. Vanity Bee. It's not Ellie Golding. <laughs> start singing, how long will I love you? Oh, God, no. Look, doesn't she look like the Golding? <laughs> she does. She looks like the Golding. Can't see her very well there. Okay, I'm just going to snip down just a little bit of this wire, just because it's easier to use uh, a smaller, but if I was working at home, I'd probably use it more, a much longer piece. But what you need to do to create the sort of star, star effects onto the perspex is one side through. Could you and do a hole in the middle with that as well? No, there's no. no hole in the middle. They are just left. Where they're crisscrossing. They're just crisscrossing. So I'm leaving about an inch on one side. I'm just going to hold that in place. And you have to work through to the opposite side from where you've just popped your, your wire through and just hold it. And the best thing, the easiest way to get the best sort of tension on this is to keep everything held at the back nice and tight. And instead of trying to go back up and round, what I'm going to do is put my wire back through the next hole along. And what that creates, instead of lots and lots of mess on the underside, you're just getting these little dots of wire there if you imagine, if you try to go all the way over to start again, you'd get all this crisscrossing on the inside as well, and that's okay. not comfortable to wear. But the trick is to remember to keep going to the opposite of what you have just sewn through, and keep pulling that tight, moving along. You see, what I'm always doing is straightening the wire out as well. I don't want any kinks in my wire, because it can make the wire brittle, like so. What you want to do, if you get a little kink in it, is just take the time to unwind it. Don't pull it, it Don't pull it. it's bent. Yeah, you don't want to snap it. No. Back through, again, just pulling everything nice and tight and back through the opposite hole there. And it's just like sewing, it's really weird. It feels just like sewing, but you're doing it with wire. And you see, I'm just straightening all that wire out as it goes through. And you can already see quite quickly that is beginning to form 
your little starburst effects. And you just Yay. carry that down all the way through until you have all of them covered and they will end up looking like a proper little sunburst. I love it. Very Chanel darlings, very Versace darlings. We're ready to go. <laughs> to finish that off, obviously, once you've done it all, just grab both ends of the wire and some flat nose pliers. Mm -hmm. Clip them together like so and just twist them together. <coughs> and what Excuse that's me. doing, apart from making a mess, let's just trim that down. It's a good job those flush cutter pliers are back in tomorrow. Oh, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? I'm waiting for them. And that twisted wire. Twist that round and it just creates a little knot on the back and you can hide all your wires over each other, tuck them all away and then you've got a really neat finish on the inside of the Perspex itself with the wire. From that point, just show those down there, we then obviously need to form the bangle. Now I can't show that on television because it involves getting my, my cooker out and unfortunately I couldn't, you know, transport that to the studio. Could I use um, a microwave? Um, I never have done and I probably wouldn't recommend it, but it would be much better to, <laughs> to use an oven. What about a halogen oven? Yeah, you could use your halogen oven. I'd have to check online uh, what sort of temperatures and what settings you need well, to put it on. Well, what temperature on a normal oven? Because you on can set um, your halogen oven to a temperature. To a like, temperature, like okay. Your, uh, yeah. Well, on a normal oven, you put the Perspex in a low heat, about 150 degrees C, for about 15 minutes. If I have a fan-assisted oven, is it better to turn the fan off? It's better to turn the fan off. If you can't do that, just drop the temperature a little bit. Perfect. And then that's that's perfect. That's absolutely fine. And just check it after about ten minutes. And it it's really hard to describe if you haven't seen it before. But it takes on a strange sort of shimmer to the surface of the perspex. I've got about a million questions. What do I put it on? Nothing. If I'm gonna, you don't. Need to I've put it got on a grill thingy yep. in the oven. Say you can put it on that. But Obviously, it's not gonna melt through it. No, it won't melt through. It's it's because it's a polymer plastic. It has a memory, so it will retain its shape. Oh. It will it will it will stay like that in the oven. It will yeah. look like that in the oven because that is how it was formed. Um, until you start manipulating it, it won't move. How do I get it out of the oven? Obviously, you have to be very careful because it will be nice and hot. But the I don't best want to touch it. I want no. to use a fish slice. No, what you can do is just grab it with, um, because it's not going to be overly hot, you can just um, sort of get some gloves on or um, a tea towel. Just pick it up with okay, a tea towel. Okay, but will I not then ruin the shape of it if I touch it? No, nope, not at all. Until you physically start moulding it, you can't damage it. Okay, I haven't done this before. Mm. Is it okay? What about the fumes? It's Does fine. it smell of anything? Uh, it doesn't. Doesn't really smell. No, it doesn't. It just. It just heats. It's like. Um, it's like warming it up, so it's more malleable. It's a bit like when you. Um, heat like y your polymer clay and things like that that comes out the oven still soft and when you, it cools it then goes down to a sort of harder okay. consistency. So but we're saying not on a baking tray? You don't need to put it on a baking tray if you put it on a baking tray put it on something like foil rather than straight onto the, the surface because it's just easier if you just pop it onto the, the oven to take it out to take it out to get it easy access if you're trying to go over the top of a baking tray and into the baking tray it can be a little bit difficult because you do only have about sort of five to ten minutes to work with the Perspex whilst it's hot. Okay. Okay, so what happens when I take it out of the oven? So you take it out and it's literally just like this in your hands and you'll feel it's a bit like, um, it, it's like has a mind of its own, it's a little bit sort of wobbly. It's, it's not going to like, yeah, it's a bit, it feels a bit drunk, you know, you can move it and you can bend it and it's just sort of like, it gives a bit. Lollopy. Yeah, it's a bit lollopy, it's a bit lollopy. So what you want to have set up next to your oven is something like a glass tumbler with a tea towel in that you can just drop it onto, mould it round and hold it in place. Glass tumbler up the other way, on yep. its side. On its side, so you can just, so that's the glass tumbler, drop it on and mould it round and it will literally just sag around the, the glass tumbler once you start manipulating it, once you start pushing it round. Hold it in place because as I said it has a memory. If you let it go at any point, it will just go back to... Will yeah. it really? It won't ping back but it will start moving and it will just sort of like find gravity and just start moving out flat again. You just mould it round, hold it in place, remove it from the glass whilst you've still got a little bit of give to it, and then just make it more into an oval, because obviously our arms aren't circular, yeah. they are oval shaped. And just hold it in place until it starts to cool. Then it's done. Now, just to remind you exactly what's in your kit today, you have got the two sheets of Perspex, one clear or is it white? It's clear. I don't know where the bangle's gone, one but there is clear. another bangle somewhere. I had that on. Scott's probably taken it. Um, remembering with the Perspex, if you do ever go wrong at any here, point, um, thank you. <laughs> if Lovely you do go stuff. wrong, all you have to do, if you don't like, if it doesn't perhaps fit your arm, if you don't like the, the shape it's made, put it back in the oven, it will go flat again and you can remould it. If you want to, I know uh, Rachel Norris popped on my, my page today and said, um, 
you can actually do this and instead of making it round you can then as it's cooling squish the top and bottom and make it concave to make those lovely corset bracelets that you've seen drill down the side and add your ribbon to it as well Rachel Norris said yeah that. she's Rachel. a genius it's, re it's really really cool so two lots of first specs yep you have also got 115 findings you have got the CD beads the two mil CD beads and it's a A5 perspex sheet that uh, we are talking about. Fourteen ninety five, such a good price. I'm sorry that the Dremel has now gone and sold out. Here is um, here's, here's everybody that got theirs. Uh, they've got their kit today. Fourteen ninety five and. Pat, loads of you. Now we've got some text messages. It, Hannah's here right now. If you've got any questions for her, now is the time to relay them. One's from a guest designer. Hello, Sammy. Hey, Sammy. Uh, say hello to my mom. Stick your head out. She <laughs> literally lives opposite. Yes, she can uh, use it in the melting pot with the lid on. Yeah, you can do. Um, oh, as long good as it's idea, not too Sammy. big. Yeah, that's yeah. a fantastic idea. I hadn't even thought of that myself. Um, it depends on obviously the size of what you're working with. It's a bit like the polymer clay because you can obviously only bake um, a certain thickness of polymer clay. But as long as it's the right temperature, you can put your Teflon mat in there. Yeah. Perfect. Go for it. Go for it, Sammy. Thank you, my dear. Uh, we got another one for you. Oh, oh no, from uh, yeah, from Rachel. Could you use your heat gun? Yeah, you absolutely can. The reason why I would say recommend putting it in the oven to mold it into a bangle shape is because you're getting consistent heat across the entire, entire surface. So if it's a smaller piece, yes. Yep, yeah, it's the smallest piece. Go for it. What I have done, I think it will probably be on on YouTube. Um, I've done a different bangle design where you do a butterfly, and to make the butterfly and to sort I of curl that. the wings and yeah. things like that, you want to concentrate the heat in a specific area. Yes, so yes, you would use your heat gun to mold those particular areas. Thank you, Hannah. And another one? Will it show the design of the racks on the bottom? Oh, the nope. racks, of, you mean the imprint of the racks? Yeah, I was really worried about that. Um, but you can see, even with the clear, which I was particularly worried about. I've had to, I have been wearing that as well, so it's, it's got a little bit jenny clear it's jennied. But um, no, it doesn't. The only time I've done that is where I've left it in the oven a little bit too long, and I've then used a pattern tea towel. You know you get those tea towels with like the waffle pattern on? Yeah, yeah, most of mine have got that. Yeah, on. you have to use more of a tea towel that has more of like a, a toweling pattern on. That sounds really random, but if you use the, the waffling and squish it too hard if you're being too forceful with it you can transfer the pattern into the surface okay. of the the piece now that's not bad if you want to do a textured surface that's mm -hmm. great if you don't you can just pop it back in the oven and everything finds its, It'll just its level again and it, it's just the most bizarre thing to swatch happening but it's really really cool um, but yeah definitely it won't show any marks or anything like that as long as you're gentle with it James in Greater London has texted, hi James, uh, hi Jenny, can I ask Hannah why I have problems soldering jewellery maker wire? I'm doing so am I doing something wrong? Yes, anything you do soldering wise, I would always recommend using flux. Um, it depends how you work. I mean, the flux I would always use is a borax, which is, is great because it um, you want to make sure wherever your solder joints are, a type of flux like a borax will take out any oxygen in the in the solder joint itself. And that's possibly where you're going wrong. If you're not using a flux, oxygen is getting into your solder and it makes a weak point. What's flux? Uh, flux is just a product that um, is like a, like a powder based or a little liquid base that you pop onto an area, then you put your solder on, then you heat the solder and the solder runs through the joint that you're making but if you don't have that flux in place oxygen can get into that joint can we will we be getting flux here soon yes we are trying to do that we will do that look out james for flux uh, anita says we will be a right uh, we will be what sorry right back after the break with light detector for something <laughs> uh, a kiss for me thank you darling we should do that we should I do that i think you should i know let's have let's have a problem solving section today in the show let's do that what problems have you got have you uh, do you do you want to know whether you should carry on dating uh, the cheating boyfriend perhaps my answer straight away is no, no. kick him out um <laughs> or just get him in get him in uh, somebody wanted Scott to become a, a presenter yesterday. We should do that. Can Scott have five minutes? If you, I mean, it, whatever you want today. If you want some life advice about anything, <laughs> I'm no doctor, but we can help you in a roundabout way. Certainly perhaps. can. Get them in. <laughs> yes, we've got a new producer. I, oh, I'm a bit reluctant to let on air because she's slightly she's more beautiful. attractive than me. Well, a lot. <laughs> she's beautiful. They hate it when that happens. Happens to me a lot. Yep. No, it I'm doesn't. Not lie. <laughs> she's all pretty. Come on. <laughs> Come on. 
Yeah. Come on. Pip's friend. I've told you to stop employing attractive girls all the time. Come and have a look. She's going to be the producer on the other side. So in, in, um, in uh, actual fact, you're our competition. Tell everybody your name and where you're Hi, from. Hi, I'm Helena. I'm from Stratford. And you're going to be Ooh. producing when? <laughs> I'm going to be producing on the Midday Show. And when did you start? I start on the 19th of June. On the 19th of June. What were you doing before that, Helena? Uh, I was working for a company that deals with insurance. Oh, this so is much more fun. Much much more fun. I did that once and I got very bored and left. <laughs> so this is much more exciting. Well, welcome. Everybody, welcome, Helen. Thank you. Now, if you could go away and make yourself less attractive, please. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I don't know how much time we've got left, but if you wanted to see stone setting, we could always do that. Yes, yes, as well. yes. Um, now I'm just going to recap the anvil. People are asking, uh, how many different mediums can I use this for? Can I use this to clamp uh, down when I'm using my gizmo and yep. things like that? Yep, absolutely, you can do. As long as you've got um, a stable enough surface to do that on, you can certainly do that. Okay, well. so you've got your anvil for £9.95. pence, And it comes with the wooden block. Now, what are you doing? What we're doing, I'm going to do, um, obviously if you wanted to make the, the cross stitch bangle, you do it in exactly the same way, but you can yeah. actually put a cross stitch pattern behind the clear. Where did you get your pattern from? Did you make it up in your head? Or did uh, you yeah, get I actually just got it off the tinterweb, yeah. You got it off the tinterweb? Yeah, I just oh, found good. a design copyright free little cross stitch pattern and just transferred it onto the, the perspex using the drill following the little crisscross patterns. I love that and I love that it's red. Oh, and um, the other one, oh, don't think I've got that brand new Resin, angle mold. Bangle mold. So you exciting. need it. You need it. You need it. It's not just for resin either. You can use it for other mediums. So we've got a bangle mold coming up for you, and we haven't had any uh, uh, wrist mandrels. Would it maybe work in that way as well? We'll have a look at it in a we minute. We can have a look at that. Yeah. Yeah, we probably could actually, depending on what you're doing. But yeah, if you wanted to shape wire. Around remember, it, I said we should be sending people fake hands and wrists, like you get <laughs> yeah, in the beauty. And you, really and you said it gave you the creeps to send people hands. I'm not the sending post. people hands through the post. I think it's quite exciting to receive a hand through the post. No. <laughs> No. 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 Okay. <laughs> okay, so if you wanted to do things like setting gemstones into it, which is why I put this little CDB bundle into the bundle as well, what you would start with doing is obviously drawing out your pattern where you wanted the gemstones to go, taking the Dremel with your drill bit in, you would drill down a couple of little guide holes. And you've still got your drill bit in? I've still got my drill bit in. The reason why I want you little guide holes... You didn't go all the way holes, through the plastic? No, just touch the surface. I want little guide holes because I'm going to change my drill bit into this little um, burnish one. If I can make my hands work today. Can we do it? You good? I'm good. That's, that's really good, even with me, with my rubbish hands, I can still Hannah change the drill bit. Hannah's got dexterity. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I didn't realise it. it didn't happen until about... She's got no dexterity. <laughs> no dexterity. Yeah. Didn't realise till the day you said you were going to make me a cup of tea and then your arm didn't work. <laughs> I was like, why? Well, stop slapping the kettle. And it's because she couldn't grab it. Can't grab, can't grab. She was doing time. this. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? Making Stop, tea. you're going to kill someone. <laughs> and my hat doesn't work. And then I was like, oh no, <laughs> somebody call an ambulance. She's like, no, it's fine, it happens all the time. I'm like, that's not fine. It's just normal, it's just normal. But that's why the Dremel for me is so so good. Yeah, but it is right though, Hannah, isn't mm. it? You know, things like this, because if you've got arthritis or if you have any sort of problems, medical problems, and again, I'm not a doctor, so I can't, you know, this is just perfect. Yeah, because other it tools, makes it a lot easier just aren't going to happen no, for you. No, and they don't, but this is really, really good and helpful. So I've changed my drill bit to the little um, burr drill bit, which uh -huh. is like a little, if I tilt it that way, you can probably see it, it's like a little round drill bit. And these are brilliant because they come in all different sizes in the kit itself, and they match to the size of gemstones that we have, so they're all different millimetre sizes. So this is going to really? be, yeah, this is going to be about like, like a two, How three mil. It will be in, in the other the other pack. I think there's one or two or something. But it's yeah. really, really good because you can then just create little CDB patterns and things. Oh, wonderful. So, so go for it. So I'm going to turn my drill onto low. So I can create a, a whole pattern and pop my genuine gemstones in yep, there. Yeah, absolutely. Or if you get sparklies and things like that. Absolutely. So I've made my little drill hole so it's a, like a guide. And I'm just going straight in. Makes a wonderful noise, but I'm not going to push it down too far because I don't want to go all the way round, and you'll see why. Whoa! Great fun, this one. 
is what I'm doing is creating lovely little circles which just sit into the surface. See, what you're doing is just removing that very a perfect, perfect dome. Yeah, like a, like a little dome, like a little concave dome in there. And then you can drop your gemstones in and they sit beautifully. Oh. Little seedy bead ones. Perfection. I left the plastic on so you can see the black beads against it. But the nice thing is they're going to sit, you obviously drop a little bit of glue into the, into the bottom of your bezel there and you just pop your gemstones in. So you've got little slight rays over the surface there, but they're nice and secure. They're gonna just sit really snugly into the perspex itself because you're not gonna hit them against anything. They've got more than half the gemstone into the perspex in its glue sitting in a little, little cup You there. can do initials, you can yep. write names. Yep. Not just that, Hannah, because this doesn't have to just be for jewelry. You can do your shop sign. Yeah, absolutely. Imagine your craft store, how amazing your craft store is going to look if you have a genuine gemstone sign on it. I love this. Uh, my, my mind's going crazy. Right now, I'm buying LED lights. <laughs> right now, it's all going to happen. You, you can do so much with Perspex. It's such an exciting medium, and it's it one is. that I really love because mm. you can create things you just simply cannot create yep. with anything else. If you want to, to be more original, if you've got your Dremel, do play about with the Perspex. It's so much fun. We're going to show you how to get in touch with us here at Jewelry Maker. Don't forget to send us your life's problems through, where Kaz, Hannah and I will try very hard. Or maybe you've got a question for Hannah. Maybe it's not just about jewelry making. You'd also like to know the gossip about her love life. No. Maybe you want to know more about Scott. Uh, then yeah. all you've got to do is give us a text <laughs> or uh, get hold of us online. We'll be back after the break. Here's how you can get involved with us here at Jewelry Maker. Get involved with Jewelry Maker by sending the studio a message during our live hours. You can send a text to 60777 and start your message with JM Studio or alternatively go to our website and click on watch the live show, simply type your message into the box and press send. Make sure you stay tuned in case your message is read out. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. The fastest way to shop with Jewelry Maker is by going to our website. Just click on the sign up button. Once you've filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the Watch Live button on the front page. You can also use our Refine tool and narrow down your search. Once you've found an item that you like, just simply click on the Buy Now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget you can add as many items to your basket per day and still only pay one p and p Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. have a question or query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. know having the right tools for the job is important, so we here at Jewelry Maker have designed a toolkit which includes all your essential pliers for jewelry making, including round nose and flat nose pliers, wire cutters, as well as a bead reamer, snips and tweezers. You've got everything you need for just $9.95. We provide the tools, you provide the skills. Get creative with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker ships to the following countries. We offer two delivery services, standard and premium. So wherever you are in the world, Jewelry Maker are never far away. When shopping with Jewelry Maker, you can add as many items to your order in one day and only pay one postage and packaging charge. We have two delivery options. Standard delivery at just £2.95 and you'll receive your parcel within four to six days. Or opt for our premium delivery at just £4.95 and you'll receive your parcel within three to four days. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker.
today I've been on the wire work for beginners course and it's been really helpful to me. I've bought wire and I've bought tools and not really had the confidence to use it because I'd feel like I was wasting it. So to come along and be shown exactly what to do and have one to one tuition has been brilliant for me and it's really given me the confidence to go ahead with my jewellery making. Once your gemstones leave the laboratory, it's then down to the quality control process. This is a really stringent process which is completed by Rally and by Ithaca. Random strands are taken from each one of the lots and you get the average size, carat weight and length of each strand. And this is done so that you know the information that you see on your screens is correct. Welcome back to Design Inspiration, where you are about to be able to get your mitts on a wonderful resin bangle mold. But it doesn't have to be resin. You can use this for polymer clay and then bake it afterwards. You can use this for uh, loads of other different mediums. Have a look at what Hannah's done. Inspired by Chanel. We've all seen that Chanel bangle with the chain and the... Isn't it wonderful? This is what you're going to be able to achieve, a perfect bangle. Then look with the scale mail. I love this. Me and Kaz have just had a literal fight over these bangles. I won. <laughs> Only because you're small and you got underneath me. Now, I'm going to challenge Hannah. I'm going to give you Hannah's uh, kit. It's all gonna happen. But first I'm gonna give you bundles of fun. Shall we start with Hannah's challenge? so that we give her a head start. Now, I love these moons. I actually think these are gonna be really nice if you do card craft as well as anything. They're also great for creating molds. If you push them into your cloud clay mm -hmm. or your polymer clay, you can actually make a mold out of this. Or if you bought your molding compound yesterday with the wonderful Rachel Norris, they'd be perfect for that. Uh, you really can create some stunning pieces out of this shape. I'm thinking that you can put them together and put something in between, make a circle out of them. You can definitely cascade them. Uh, it's quite a fun bundle that I'm going to give Hannah as a challenge. You've got the ovals there as well that cascade beautifully. These will act great in a ring, a cocktail ring. They'll be brilliant as individual pendants. And you could make some really cool A to Z earrings out of those as well. Then I'm going to give you the squares. Now, uh, the Sarah Bennett collection on uh, Gems TV has a wonderful power shell ring, um, which is this uh, sort of shape. And I think you could create that sort of look with these. I love the squares because they offer us uh, quite a modern look, I think, in our jewellery. Then I'm going to give you the rounds and the same gemstone. I love these colours, and I think these are going to be great for the children in the summer holidays ahead of that. Now, you've also got... Your leopard print flowers is the word I'm looking for. I've got, I keep thinking about my jeans. I've got a pair of jeans like this, but they've mysteriously disappeared. I think they might be my daughter's bedroom. Now, you've got lightweight gemstones that are fun, easy to use, different shapes, bold, bright colours. I think these are going to be appealing to all sorts of age groups. HZG C94 Summer Shell Quintet. Do you know why it's called the Summer Shell Quintet? For oh, apart from obvious reasons, <laughs> no. Because Danny says he doesn't use the word quintet, <laughs> and this is his only opportunity. <laughs> Going down from the original price tag of fourteen ninety five. To three pounds a strand at nine pounds and nine, two pounds a strand. Hang on, two, four, six, eight, ten. Yes, you're right. I had to use my fingers for that one, kids. Nine pounds and ninety pence. H Z G C ninety four summer shell quintet. Hannah, lightweight, fun jewellery is what's on my mind, yeah. but what's on your designer brain? Oh, it's all about summer beach wear. What you can take, wear it at the beach, and then wear it through to the evening as well. Did you just say something about Rachel Norris? Rachel Norris's beach coma yesterday, lots of yep. shell in that. Yeah, it's all about that at the moment. That was amazing, wasn't oh, it? Oh, so beautiful. 
beautiful. Every time I meet her, I love her a little bit more. I didn't think it was possible to love her anymore, but I really do love her even more since I yesterday. think we're going to move in with her. I think we should all move in together into our hippie commune. Yeah, I think that would be good. <laughs> you didn't sound that excited. Well, I do want it to myself, if I'm honest. <laughs> you can come if you want. It might get a bit crowded, though. <laughs> HZG, C9. Anyway, you've got work to do. You've got, it, <laughs> you've, you've got to slowly move into Mark's house without him noticing. I think he might notice. No, or you have a pretty good idea after today's show. It starts with your moisturiser. <laughs> so that's already there. Brushed. Oh, oh yeah. you've already started. Yeah. A pair of shoes there? Yeah, actually. Yeah. yeah. It started, Mark. It started. Next thing is you won't be able to have a, a separate sock and underwear drawer. You're going to have to put them in together so that she can have the other one for hers. Nine pounds and ninety pence. <laughs> H Z G C ninety four. You are homeless after all at the moment. Yes, I am. Has it got a spare room? Yeah. Lisa, you've got <laughs> yours, Charlie and Jane. Denise, well, they're not married yet. They've got to sleep in separate rooms. Christine, <laughs> Jill, <laughs> that's me saying he's got to marry you. Oh God. Think he will. <laughs> I'm really not having too soon. It's like this? literally, it's really, really. Imagine soon. if we walked in here now and got down on one knee. What would we do? I'd die. <laughs> I think I would die. I would die. Run, Mark. Run. <laughs> We've only got two more hours left. Janice, you've got yours. Yvette, you've got yours. Nine pounds and ninety pence. Oh, eight hundred six triple four six double five is a free phone number to be calling. Bundles of fun, very lightweight. Loads of you texting us in. Keep them coming. Uh, we're going to be the Jenny Kyle show today, so I'd like to know your problems. I can't do lie detector tests, but if you tell me a story, I'll decide whether I think the person is lying or not. I am no psychiatrist, doctor, or life advisor, but you can take a chance. Now, shall I remind you? Shall I remind you about these amazing turquoise that are going to go beautifully with the pinks? Have a look. Have a look at the turquoise, it's going to go beautifully with the pink moons, I just said. They don't listen to me, jewellery makers, what do I do? You see what you see this, Hannah? Yeah, I just... It's graceful. It's graceful. They don't get this on Create and Craft. <laughs> no. But you wouldn't get this either. Look. Look at that. Don't you think that looks awesome together? I think it does. Oh, actually, I'm going to do something. Bright and bold and funkalicious. Look at that. Amazing, isn't it? Oh no, I want that. That's what we're doing now. Let's swap that. <laughs> <laughs> Who employed me anyway? Hmm? Look at all of this. Oh yeah, I'm freelance. <laughs> <laughs> Danny you sent your freelance. We can always get rid of you. 990. I'll take you down with me, Danny boy. HZG C94, great price. Yasmin in Essex, you bought two. Don't forget, tomorrow's show has got your wire, your twisted wire, and your flush cutter pliers. It's very exciting tomorrow. Jenny, stop teasing. When are the flush cutter pliers coming up? I need them desperately. Love Marion. Marion, tomorrow, not today. Tomorrow. Tomorrow with Michelle Naylor. We have got twisted wire and we've got flush cutter plies. The next new thing I'm going to bring you today, it's exciting this whole weekend by the way, is the new bangle mould. Never been seen before. I'm using my hands a lot, like an air hostess I've just noticed. What have you got there? Are you stealing from the ox? <laughs> I'm not stealing, no. Caught red hun handed. <laughs> Posh people don't steal of course darling, they borrow. Yeah, borrow. They borrow, yeah. Right, sorry, my producer is trying to talk to me. Let's... Where's the wire? Oh yeah, I've got it. Uh, now, I've got a wire bundle for you. Now, if you want to do Hannah's bangles... Oh, that's why Scott was bringing me the bangle. He wasn't <laughs> stealing after all. <laughs> sorry, Scott. I get you wrong all the time, don't I? Yeah, accuse me of theft. Sorry, darling. Sorry. Now, have a look. At least I say sorry when I know I'm wrong. No, I, I forgive you. Oh, he forgives me. Thank you, darling. Now, you love <laughs> Hannah's bangle. You want to do lot. I mean, actually, imagine this in any one of these colours would look phenomenal. Oh, yeah. Or all of them at once. 
Yes, 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 yes. I would put them together. In a if you can have it all at once, then do it. That's what I say. Why not? Now it's 0 0.4 in chartreuse. Ouais. Turquoise. How do you say turquoise if you're French, Danny? <laughs> No, you don't say it like that, Danny went, turquoise. <laughs> He's half French, half brummy. Turquoise. Turquoise. And making up words. And fuchsia. So you've got the fuchsia, the turquoise, and the chartreuse. And you've got 10 metres of each and it's 0 0.4. 0 0.4 is wonderful for your weaves. 0.4. I'm going to actually, I've got some chartreuse weave here. Uh, 0.4 is great for weaves. It's wonderful for doing gizmo coils. With 0.4, you can Viking knit, you can crochet, you can macrame. It looks wonderful. Let me show you a weave with 0.4, done by Laura Binding uh, during the Paddy's Day. I think this is Laura Binding during Paddy's Day. So there's the chartreuse. 0.4 from Karen Crawford's. I've, I've, I'm so meant to have stolen this by now. 0.4 from Karen's DVD creates the weave. Isn't this stunning? Isn't it stunning? Oh, I actually want to. I want to wear it. Uh, now, 0.4 is very malleable. I think when you're starting wire work, I would get all of the sizes of this of the smaller reel so you can have a play with it. 0.4 is very malleable. Uh, it's, going, it's great with a wire twister tool if you want to twist it together. You can plait with it. Uh, you, like I said, it's for weaving, it's for plaiting, it's for macrame, it's for crochet, it's for your lazy daisy viking knit, it's for your kumahimo. There are loads of different sort of braiding and embroidery mediums that you can go uh, and experiment. You can also put this inside the resin mould. You can make uh, little balls of the wire and put it inside. Give it that sort of industrial pizzazz feel. Uh, now I'm going to give you that resin kit shortly, but right now you need to take advantage of the incredible deals that I'm giving you today. Three lots of wire for £8.45. and pence. No, £7.85. and pence. 30 meters of wire for seven pounds and 85 pence with a 30-day money-back guarantee in the summer madness colors if you want to you can rosary link pearls with this as well what would be quite nice is different colored pearls with different colored wire i think make something that's really different outside of the box loads of you grabbing this deal if you are a weaver of wire then this one is for you at 7.85 UQG C73 Sandra you've got yours Pamela Barbara Danielle Jacqueline in Gloucestershire well we know we know the cleverest people are born there Barbara in Cumbria Maria in County Clare uh, I have got Cheryl in Cheshire Judith Jen in Berkshire Janet in Norfolk Jean in Surrey Mariana in Somerset and Laurie you've got yours as well Laurie did you get the journal it was out of you and two others, and we're still wondering who got it. UQG C73, essential to have 0.4 if you want to do yeah. weaves and things with wire, isn't it, Hannah? It is completely essential, and it's also great, like you were saying, to add in as embellishments, not just weaving, cross-stitching, mm -hmm. making little um, balls, all of your, your different design elements. And again, if you're using it from a portfolio point of view, to show and showcase the different wires that you use as well. I think uh, you're right, you know, having all these different options also. If you decide, I, I want to knit with some wire, you can do that. Alison Tarry made a shoe yesterday. <gasps> break into my, break into my um, text messages and I can put, oh no, maybe I ought not to share it because she did private message me. Have a look at the booty. 0.4 to make the gizmo coils and the little, um, oh no, it's 0.4 in the middle where the gemstones are. Uh, we've got, look at this, oh, Rachel Norris is stunning, look at this stunning piece, 785, you're getting 30 metres, 0.4 is great for adding on the cluster gem size, you know when I talked to you about that wire piece with the gems of distinction in the middle Tom, that's the one I mean, that's the one I mean, 785, I love that, with the clusters of them. Um, Gems of distinction, beautiful, isn't it? And actually, if you want to add on, look at this, I've got this here. I love it. I love it. So 0 0.4 has made the gizmo coils that's gone around that and the twisted wire that's gone around. Beautiful Cartier-inspired piece. Uh, so, of course, we are looking at Cartier, 
uh, when we were doing that piece, we're looking at Chanel today with the cuff bangle, 7.85. Lynn and Julian, Liz and Alberta, uh, Suze and Patricia and Shirley and Hazel and Anne in Worcester, she's got two. Patricia in Greater Manchester, uh, I have got Sissy, you've got yours as well. Uh, that's Lynn, Laurie, uh, check out your baskets. Jean, Maria, check out your basket. We are seeing multi-buying on this deal. It is a phenomenal deal. It's less than three. What is that each? Two pounds eighty each or something. I made that up. Yeah, I did make that two pounds. I just plucked a, a random number out of my head. Two sixty-one. Even, even less. Even better. Two sixty-one per real. Christy, Hannah, I, I like at oh. These would wire twisted together nicely. They That'd be quite really tutti good. Fruity. Yeah, and also if you're doing sort of woven um, friendship bracelets, perhaps on a bead loom rather than beading, you could um, mix the wire in and out, in and out, in and out. That would look fantastic as a bangle. Now bunker. you're talking. You don't have to add beads onto you it. You don't look like a basket weave. Yeah, yeah. I'm such a lumatic. Oh, you are, Jen, but we love you. I love looming. So good. A great. And it doesn't have to be again. It doesn't have to be jewelry. You can make little ornamental baskets. Or like bookmarks anything on it really, and all the bookmarks a good idea yeah. me as a right bookworm my daughter my son's decided to start being a bookworm but only diary of a wimpy kid at the moment it's very selective my son on the books he reads if they don't make him laugh he refuses to read them <laughs> 785 is your price tag for all three and you know what anyone if, if you want any inspiration if you don't know how to work with wire we've so many dvds haven't we wire work for beginners you can come on one of our courses here uqg c73 two pounds and 95 pence is all you're going to pay for postage no matter how much you think the turquoise is going to go really well i actually think with the fuchsia wire it's going to look amazing and with the turquoise wire Oh, actually, it does go with the chartreuse as well. <laughs> you could do a bit of a Bollywood piece with this. Mm -hmm. We know, Kaz, um, you like it when we do the Bollywood show. You were saying about that yesterday, weren't you? She liked it. Yeah, you, that's exactly what you were saying as I was coming out. I was going, well, who's got Bollywood jewellery? Kaz was going, me. I take it all. Look at this. Is it because the colour? You just love all the colours. I do too. Gorgeous. Are these Bollywood colours? Yeah, she's saying. She gets annoyed though sometimes if you say they're Bollywood and she goes, no, they're not. <laughs> that is not a Bollywood colour, but these are Bollywood colours you're saying. Now. I was, don't worry, it's good. <laughs> I was looking, looking at my producer and he went, I agree with you. He's <laughs> like, he'd just woken up. <laughs> oh, come on. One time. That was brilliant. <laughs> he looked at me. I, he thought I was looking at him. Like, oh, Scott did. Sat on his lounging, smoking chair, <laughs> and uh, he thought, "Oh no, I was supposed to be doing something." I agree. He went. <laughs> Do you know what? Your mother's taught you very well. When a woman looks at you, you should always say that. Well done. Well done, Mummy Marley. I agree with you, darling. <laughs> yes, that is the right answer. <laughs> I love Scott. Do you remember that time he was actually asleep? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you're the best floor manager I've decided in the world <laughs> because you're just completely mental. Have a look. Like me, I can relate to you. Have a look. That, that's, that is a compliment, thank you. Let's talk about reconstituted turquoise. We already know this is the shape we want. I want it, I love it, I want it. Now, um, correct me if I'm wrong, Hannah, but mm -hmm. usually because of the uh, makeup of turquoise, it's quite a soft gemstone. Yeah, it's incredibly soft and it's incredibly unstable as well. So um, most of the turquoise you see on the market is in fact dyed howlite, mm -hmm. or the rest of it could well be reconstituted. Um, but it w it's never stated, but we always state that ours is reconstituted. When it is. Sometimes it, is. it isn't. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes you get um, a natural turquoise in. The benefit of reconstituted turquoise is that you're most likely to get much larger pieces of turquoise. The yep. makeup is still real turquoise. Mm -hmm. It has been crushed down and formed back together to create much larger pieces. Yep. We get the shapes we want. If we hadn't reconstituted these sharper, more crisp edges would not be as possible. No, they uh, We see smaller pieces, beautiful pieces, but they are gonna be smaller such as these. 
so they're going to be smaller. But reconstituted turquoise, Gemma Crow said to me, at nine times out of ten, she will buy reconstituted because she would rather have reconstituted and have real turquoise than dyed how like. Yeah. I trust that opinion. I know that she's somebody who works very much with gorgeous gemstones and bright colours. Mm -hmm. Now these shapes are stunning. This is, see if you'd have bought dyed howlite, it wouldn't have been December's first gemstone. This is not dyed. This is not made up of anything that is not real turquoise already. This is brand new, this strand. It has never, never, never been seen elsewhere. Because it's reconstituted, it has a certain hardness. So therefore, perhaps making it more durable. Now this uh, shape, have a look. I mean, you can pop them together. I mean, if you're bead looming, how wonderful are these? You can zigzag them together. You can create so many different shapes. Now, because they're drilled in the center, they will fall really nicely. Because they're very defined, they can be very Aztec, very Egyptian. So if that is because of the shape, that's something that you want to achieve in your jewelry, then this is most certainly a strand you want. This is brand new. It's never been to air before. I would absolutely prong set these into rings. I would absolutely uh, put them together to make a big square out of four of them, put them in a big ring. I would use them separately. They go very well in earrings. They go with gold, they go with black wire, they go with all the different color wires. They are just a wonderfully bright, happy, sunny, warm gemstone. They make me think of summer. Do they you? Mm. They make me think of the Egyptian era. They make me think also of the very Grecian pieces that are out there. Uh, Hannah, what would you make out of these? Well, I saw um, the show for men the other night, and I think these would make really beautiful cufflinks, yes. you guys. Really nice cufflinks. Because they're perfectly drill hold yeah. for them as well, aren't they? Yeah, Not perfect. to go through the buttonhole unless you want them to. Yeah, I agree. But actually, do you know what? I think us ladies are quite liking the idea of wearing cufflinks yeah. now. I know I do. I actually think this is going to go very well set into the resin as well. That's something you're going to be investing in. I think they go really nicely with red. I think they go really nicely with pink. I think they'll look phenomenal with your perspex as well. We have got scope for design. We have got opportunity to put colours next to each other, to brighten up our collections. A nice gemstone strand that will offer you the edges for your suit ash, for your wire, the edges for butting up against each other and puzzling in to create shapes. You're going to really enjoy this strand. December's birth gemstone. Said to give you spiritual harmony as the myth and ledge. And it's under £10. Cut like this, we've got our options. We've got real turquoise. This is genuine turquoise. It's not dyed how like it's genuine reconstituted turquoise. The myth and legend is to bring spiritual harmony. They're under £10. If this was turquoise that wasn't reconstituted, which is not a bad word, it is a great thing you'd be looking at about 70 to 80 pounds per strand. Joanne in Arizona, you love your turquoise, don't you? You've got yours. Sheila, you've got yours. Sylvia, you've got yours. Anonymous in Leicestershire. Samantha in County Durham. Pam, Wendy in Denbighshire. Anonymous in London. Jen in Berkshire. NJP 07. Loads of you there. Make sure you check out Basket. Sheila, you've got your Stella. You're shopping with us as well. There are options to give you all that cascading. You just get them in different cuts. They look so good with antique bronze wire. They look exceptional with copper. What colour would you go with? I would go copper on these. Just because I think they're really, really good. All the colours look great. If you want to tone it down, if you want to make something more sophisticated, more evening wear, silver would look amazing with these as well. Yeah. But yeah, all of the colours. You see a lot of turquoise in silversmiths. You do, yeah, you do. Mixed with silver, it looks really, really nice. Quite an earthly gemstone, isn't it, Samuel? Yeah, I would say that. Ethereal. Fabergé uses turquoise a lot. Yes. A lot of turquoise in Fabergé. They make a lot of clasps, don't they, for their pieces in turquoise. Yeah. Lovely. Well, the Fabergé eggs come in turquoise as well, don't yeah. they? Yeah, they do. Very expensive. Very expensive. We love a bit. You have to be a Kardashian to own a Fabergé <laughs> egg. I thought Kardashian was a disease. It's not their people. NJP 07. Rita, you've got yours. Kathleen. You've got yours, well done. Great time coming to you. Don't forget, we are going to have the brand new resin bangle mould. If you're having a credit card day, we have those days, don't we, girls? I just said to Hannah, if you're going to tell me a credit card specifically to buy a pair of shoes, do you end up going, if I'm getting it out, <laughs> I am getting it out, yeah? Yeah. 
Tom says he said, he, you do that as well, do you? It's not just girls. <laughs> Credit cards I'm talking about, Tom. Tom. <laughs> Tom, you're confusing me with weird words today. We've got a text message. <laughs> Is it me or is he talking? <laughs> is it me? Oh no, this happens to me sometimes. <laughs> Tom, will you tell that voice of yours that's in my head to get out and leave me alone? Uh, well, did you say we got a text message from James? No, I heard that from nowhere again. Well, you did say that. Oh, James in Greater London was watching. Let's leave it. I haven't got any chain. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not drunk, I promise you. It's not here. Don't make out I'm going mad. I actually haven't got it. Dan is coming. Oh no. I'm sorting it, I'm sorting it. It's like, shh, Dad's coming. Shut up, send your sleep. <laughs> Except not. All right, French. <laughs> what did he get in a temper about earlier? What was that? Oh, the fly. <laughs> oh yeah, you got really angry that there was a fly. Why is there a fly indoors anyway? <laughs> I was like, because it's raining outside. If you were a fly, where would you want to be? In here, in the warm, where people are eating junk food, or outside? Got a right rage. Does Mark get in tempers over flies? No, no, I've not experienced that. Have you ever had a fallout yet? No. Not one? Nope. No. No, Mark. Oh, oh. Not yet. You've had a fallout with Mark. <laughs> oh, yeah. Does it? <laughs> what? <laughs> What's going on? Everyone's gone mad. <laughs> I'm clearly joking. <laughs> As for Mikey. Oh, here he comes. Hello, Mikey. Now, <laughs> this chain is great if you're working with polymer clay and you want to make a sort of bezel set of your own because you can push them over the top of polymer clay. Obviously, you're going to undo them with your flush cutters that are available tomorrow. Uh, now, this kind of chain is as well. We're, we're talking about creating very Chanel pieces today. Well, we know that Chanel is notorious, as is uh, Versace, for making pieces with lots of chain. Have a look. And the more affordable Vivian Westwood is doing that as well now. Even though Vivian Westwood is still quite a high-end name, it's, it's not as out of reach as Chanel and Versace. Now, you've got rose gold, and you've got the nine carat gold on copper. Now, the rose gold have 22 millimeter links, and you've got 36 centimeters. The nine carat gold, e-coated, by the way, all of these, 23 by 19 on the pair links, 25 by 16 on the oval links. Your chain is going to be brilliant for bracelets, for necklaces, for undoing and using as individual links. Very useful to have lots of chain in your stash. Hannah, you're a fan of chain. You love using it. I love what does chain. it add to your jewelry? Well, it makes your gemstones go further because you can space one gemstone in a whole load of chain and you, you just using the minimum amount of gemstones. But also, it's really, really on trend at the moment. Lots and lots of layers, lots of heavy metallic chain. Looks fantastic in jewelry designs. It looks really great with all of these sort of sharp edges that we're yeah. seeing in fashion as well. Adding a little bit of chain, very glamorous, very actually very Italian to mix the two colours together. And please don't think that you have to use these separately because you don't. They look wonderful together. WZGC48. I told you never to call anything that by that bundle name. <laughs> we have had this discussion. It's not a French temper, this is a country temper. You French don't know nothing till you said a country temper, love. Seven pounds and ninety pence. I'm gonna mow you down with my tractor. Seven ninety. <laughs> Tom just went, I don't fancy my chances against Jenny in a fight. <laughs> Seven ninety. We've only got thirty-nine of these at this price. Oh eight hundred six triple four six double five. I'm not a gambling girl. No, I am. I don't recommend gambling, but I could definitely beat Danny in any kind of fight. Actually, Joanne in Arizona, uh, Sheila, and I'd definitely beat you in an arm wrestle, and then you'd be scared to uh, further the fighting talk with me. Jenny and Berkshire, you've got yours. Sheila in Nottingham, she has bought two. 
What did you just... Oh, I'm a girl that smells, he's just said. <laughs> well, Is that your comeback, you. Danny? All right. If you could ask nine-year-old Danny to leave the room <laughs> and bring 25-year-old uh, Danny back, that would be good. Cheryl and Yvette, you've got yours. Uh, Pam, oh, you're 22, sorry. <laughs> Such babies, aren't they? Aww. You're not that old, though, are you? No, I'm 27. 27. How old's Mark? Oh, God. Um, it's all right, I go out with an old one. Mark. 11 years between me and mine. Yeah, it's a bit of an age difference. How old is he? You're not going to answer. <laughs> no. Mark, text in, how old are you? <laughs> Lee's 45. Um, which people think he's the same age as me, but I'm not 45. I am actually only 34. <laughs> Go on, how old is he? Cat out of bag, please. Uh, Mark's 43. 43? I reckon she took a couple of years off to be polite then. 43. Okay, and how old are you? 25. I, th I, I prefer him a bit older. <laughs> yeah. Producer Helena says age is but a number. It's is nice. Helena single or is she betrothed? Is Helena betrothed? Is he much older than you, Helena? 41. WZG C48. I think they're, they're suddenly men when they're 40, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mikey, you've got a while to go yet, love. Oh. Mikey, last night, I can confirm, after cooking up a storm for his girlfriend, it is still on. Yay. It is still on, Mikey fans. Woo. Uh, now, you, you, what kind of sausage did you wrap in bacon? I didn't do any <laughs> work. It was like... It was kind of you salt. shot bought them. Yeah, like the whoa, 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 whoa. That's not cooking. No, I cooked most of it. But he meat, is good at cooking. I he makes. I put them in the sauce, so it's like a nice Mediterranean vegetable and sausage. Sauce. Mediterranean vegetables and sausages. Yeah. Did she eat it all? Yeah, she liked it. Did you give her a pudding? No. What? No pudding. You were the pudding, Mikey. I was the pudding. Yeah. He was the pudding. I was the you don't need more of a treat. <laughs> oh, it's a good day for larking. Where is my mould? Oh, is the the mould's coming in with the kit, though, isn't it? We're going to do the additions to the kit first. Okay. So we're going to give you the resin and the mould in a minute. We're going to give you the additions first. Right, if you want to be able to create what Hannah has created here. Saturdays at Jewellery Maker, everybody. But we are a little bit more crazy than usual. Isn't this wonderful? The Chanel bracelet as well. Aren't they fab? Now, you are going to get scales now I'm not getting this yet am I that's separately is that right the the gemstones producer let me let me we're getting everything okay so we're not getting everything we're getting where's all those gemstones oh in here okay sorry this is very right okay it's smoke jewelry makers. Now, I'm a, I've got, I said to Hannah earlier, I'm becoming a big fan of red. I don't know whether it's my age or what. I love red. I love red. It's my favourite colour. Has it always mm. been your favourite yeah. colour? Have a look. You've got the scales that Hannah put into the resin. I love scale mail. I love it. There's so many, I think we uh, don't do enough for scale mail here at Jewelry Maker, actually, I've decided. And if you've got your Dremel, oh, if you've got your Dremel, you need these scales because you can etch into them and it looks wonderful. Now, you've also got real pearls and they're the pearls that Hannah's put inside the resin here. Magnus and Bella use a lot of um, resin, yes, don't they? Yes, they do. Yeah, they've, um, if you remember Magnus and Bella, who used to be guest designers here, I love their jewellery, Hannah. It's really pretty. Go and check out Magnus and Bella's... Um, is it Bella or Magnus? It's Mags and Bella, isn't it, on Mags uh, and face, Bella. Facebook? Yeah. Resin, you've got to get it. Have a look at what Hannah's done with the resin and the chain that comes in the kit. These are real freshwater pearls that you get. 
you are also going to get oh my gosh a gems of distinction bead scoop gems of distinction these are beautiful <gasps> Ali Defoy do you love the Chanel bracelet like this uh, yeah. look what Hannah's made I can't afford that Chanel bracelet but oh my gosh Thanks doesn't it look just that. like it with resin we got a new mold we got a new mould, Ali Defoy, so we can make those. I love it. I love it too. Now, bring it back. Bring it back. <laughs> I know what you're doing. I'm the queen of stealing myself. <laughs> now, you also get 115 findings. So you've got your luxury bead scoop. You've got your scales. You get 100 scales in there. It's loads. You get absolutely loads of aluminium scales. You get the real pearls. Are you ready to make that Chanel-esque bangle? Should be 32 pounds and 30 pence if you were shopping for this as individual items on the website. But we're gonna bring that price tag down for you. WFGC 36, it's 24 pounds and 90 pence. Loads and loads and loads of you on the phone lines and on the web. Do you know what I'm gonna do? Do you know what I'm gonna do? Oh, you're surprised I haven't already. I'm trying to be good these days and behave. But who likes being good all the time? Only Ali Defoy. Now, look, <laughs> look at that. Oh, they're going everywhere. These are absolutely gorgeous. Look at the amateur that you're getting. It's beautiful. Goodness, look at the cuts. Aren't they lovely? All of these different gemstones, clarity, Clarity City there. Look at that. Woohoo! I love this. Oh, I want to scoop them up. Have you ever seen the Goonies at the end where she goes, no sign? Because she's got all the gemstones. That was what this looks like. Rosalita. <laughs> Have you seen that? You've never seen the Goonies? No. What is wrong with you? I don't know. Shelter childhood. What? A hey, you guys means nothing to you? I know that bit, but I haven't watched the whole thing. The truffle shuffle? <laughs> yeah. Goonies never say... Mark, you can't marry her. She's never seen the Goonies. <laughs> You've got to show it to her tonight. Tonight. Now, um, <laughs> Helena and Danny have never seen Wally which I find appalling as well. Wally is the best Disney film. Wowie. Have you seen that, Mikey? I haven't seen You need to go home and watch it tonight. It's got a hidden message. Have you seen Wally? Wally. Eva. Yeah. Isn't it brilliant? Yeah. Yes, you've got to watch Wally. Hannah, have you, you have seen Wally? I right? have seen that one, yeah. Right, if you don't watch The Goonies tonight, I'm going to think less of you on Monday. Okay, I'll get that sorted. Now, you've got that. We're all ready for this. Look at that, look. We are all ready for the resin bangle. It is reminding me of the end of the Goonies. Now. I want to give you this bangle mould over by Hannah. Now, I do expect these to sell out. You got 115 findings with that kit as well. I do expect these to sell out. Resin is easy to use. You can encapsulate memories in resin. Now, I know somebody who does horsehair bracelets. So if you are not into animals, probably sounds pretty revolting to you, but they're very expensive and uh, they're encapsulating a memory. We're quite far apart. We are. I'm going to come uh, yeah, over. Yeah, I'm going to come over. <laughs> well, floor manager, that's the uh, one word I'm going to say to you. <laughs> now, uh, Hannah, mm -hmm. encapsulating photographs. Yep encapsulating watch findings to create steampunk yep. pieces, encapsulating memories, it could be a, a lock of hair, you know, anything from a, a, ch from a childhood memory, mm -hmm. it could be a flower that uh, you've picked on a special day out, yep. I mean anything, anything that literally is special Literally anything you. you can think of, if you're going to use photographs, coat them in PVA glue first just so that they're sealed before you put them just into the resin. regular PVA glue, the type that you peel off your hands. Yes, that's the one, um, but literally anything, I mean the inspiration obviously comes from Chanel with the, but with the pearl bracelet yes. but what you can do say you've been left a set of pearls and we all know how pearls go after an absolute age of wearing them and you, you know it's not perhaps your style of jewellery you can you can case it in a bangle and give it a whole new lease of mm -hmm. life you can obviously use the scales or the chain the more you pack into these bangles the more fabulous they look 
great wedding gifts because you can mm -hmm. put Mr. and Mrs. in there. You can write a, yep. a little note and put it inside. You can collect things from the wedding itself. You could yep. get confetti. confetti, bits of the lace, you know, patterns off the dress that you, you perhaps, you know, your friends worn or something like that and create a whole like time capsule memory How in a bangle lovely. that can be worn all the time. How lovely. For the first wedding anniversary. Yep. How lovely. Really, would really that sweet be? idea. Now I do expect that the resin additions now uh, tw twenty four ninety that's the price is it uh, yeah twenty four ninety we are going to get the new mold now you can press your polymer clay in there can't you pop it back out again and then bake it you can it's not as easy to use with polymer clay. Um, but it is possible. It oh, is you can possible. go around the edge though. But yeah. yeah, you could you could shape things around it and things like that. So you know it's not necessarily unheard of. You can use your jewel enamel in it, but as I said before, if you're using it to make bangles, craft you would effects. need to use craft effects as well. Okay, you can definitely push your uh, cloud clay into that. Mm -hmm. You could use so many different mediums for this. Yeah, Friendly absolutely. plastic. Mm -hmm. Now it is a bangle mold. You cannot buy the bangle mold outside of this kit. You are also going to get the resin. Now this is clear resin, mm -hmm. so it is the encapsulating resin. If you want to use it for photographs, if you want to use it in the way that Hannah has used it now, um, this isn't a full bottle actually. No, we've been using these. Well, we've been using <coughs> that one, but yours will come full. Then you have the epoxy hardener. You need that to, uh, to harden it. Now, you've got the little pipette there as well. I think this is going to sell out very, very quickly. Down from 17.35, well, we put it down to 17.35, we're going down again. £15 and 95 pence, phenomenal. I know I want that resin. How many bangles can I make out of that resin? Oh, tons and tons and tons. I've made one, two show pieces, a demo piece, and I've got one at home which oh didn't set gosh. in time. Can I touch yeah, that? of course. Yep, that's that's ready oh to be touched. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That's with the. <gasps> it's beautiful. Yeah, that's my demo piece. So it's not quite finished. That's why it's still a little bit hazy because you do need to polish them up afterwards. I quite like it. But like it's a nice glass. effect. And um, I I did want more gemstones in it. I put too much resin in to set it. So I would have packed this absolutely full of gems of um, mm -hmm. Distinction Deluxe Tube. Um, but it's just give you a really good idea of how this this resin actually works. It's just an absolute fabulous medium. You cannot buy, just to reiterate, the mould itself is, we've only got 25 left uh, and we started with 100. Now the mould itself is not available outside of this kit and we're not sure when we're going to get them back. It's brand new, it's definitely a try me out, uh, definitely a try me out price tag. We've only got 15 left, these are absolutely flying out. We are seeing multi buyers in June. Uh, anonymous and Joanne in Arizona. I would multi buy this. I absolutely bloom in wood. It's a great deal. We've only got four left now, down to three at fifteen pounds and ninety five pence. Do not fall at the last furlong on this one. Make sure you are checking out baskets. Uh, looks like it's sold out. Woohoo! Oh, that was good. <laughs> that was fast. Um, the nice thing about the, these bangle moulds is I have several, so I've got the two that I've got on screen at the moment, I've got a couple more at home because I like to make them and instead of like wasting any resin, you can make extra, like a big pot of resin and then just keep making and making and making until you run out of resin, so having one just one mould is, is great but having an extra few is brilliant as well. I really love this, I really love it because mm. I've got children, yeah. I think, um, being, looking back, I was actually looking back at photographs because we've just bought one of those um, photo frames where you put, uh, upload things yeah. and stuff. So I was going through a load of photos and you just, time just goes, like, yeah. you know, it's crazy. But also things like I was looking at photos of my gran who isn't with us anymore and I was like, oh, you know, memories are so important. Yeah. And to be able to encapsulate them and look at them every day is so special. And I actually think it's the most special gift you can give absolutely. is a memory. Yeah, absolutely, completely agree with you. And something that you can carry around with you all the time, that you yeah. enjoy wearing. It's such a lovely, unique and personal gift as well which I, I think is really lovely. I wholeheartedly agree whether you're doing it in a bangle, whether you're doing it in a pendant or whether you're doing a coaster because mm -hmm. I've got some coasters that are made out of resin with the kids pictures in oh, them. So They're lovely. wonderful. My friend actually ordered them online yeah. and she sent the pictures to a, a, a designer that did it and it's resin. They came through in resin. A, a pack of them. I love them. They're oh, one of my favourite gifts really I've ever cute. had. Yeah, yeah. That's a really nice idea. I mean you can do it the same with the Perspex. You could, if you're not confident in using the resin, you can get the same effect by um, gluing 
like a picture between two sheets of perspective. Sandwiching them, it yeah, together. And you can do it that way, but it's, it's nice to have like a, a constructed piece, solid which is piece. a solid piece to, to wear with these memories and things. So let's learn how okay. we actually use this. Don't forget to pick up the uh, additions as well at 24.90. That was 115 findings. They're on your screen right now. I'm going to give you some more resin options uh, very soon. We sold out a resin this morning, so uh, here for 24.90 is everything that you are getting. Okay, Hannah, let's take it away with the demonstration. Exactly what do I need? Okay, so what you need to do is have everything set up that you want to use in front of you. So I have my resin, uh, epoxy resin. I have my hardener. I have a little set of scales that you can get from like a kitchen shop or anything like that. Have we got the scales in stock at the we moment? We don't have the scales in stock at the moment. But regular kitchen scales are Absolutely fine, fine. yeah, as long as you can measure um, in, in small weights on them, which you will be able to do on kitchen scales. And of course, a little pot and a mixing stick. Now, what I've done is started setting up the scales um, to show you how to do the scales into the mould itself. And literally all we're doing is dropping the scales into the mould so they overlap. So you see, taking that edge, popping it down so it overlaps the little hole in the scales there and just continue that round. And they just find their little own sort of flatness in there. They sort of poke up against the edge here and lie flat against the rest of the mould. Everything Hannah's using at the moment, 24.90, the scales are what Hannah's using and they are part of the kit. You've got a hundred of those, you get the white pearls, you get the gems of distinction tubes and you get 115 findings for that price tag. Great deal. It's, it's a really, really good deal actually. So the important trick with resin is two things. Remember, you've got to use two parts of the epoxy resin to one part of the hardener. And it's really important that you measure that out and you're quite precise with that as well. The second thing is when you're curing the resin, so when you're leaving it to set and dry, leave it somewhere not too warm, not too cold, nowhere in a draft, because it can affect the way that the resin cures. So don't you put it in an airing cupboard? You can put it in an airing cupboard. It, it won't harm it in any way, but just make sure that temperature in there is stable. It's not going to suddenly not drop or anything like that. And yeah. Okay, fine. Airing covers do tend to be pretty stable. All the time. Yeah, so that something like that would be fine. Not in direct sunlight. Not in direct sunlight. No. Because it can yellow it. You can yellow it actually, ever so slightly, and also you're going to get a change in temperature. And if you're getting that sort of thing on the resin, um, it will affect the way it cures. Yeah, because it could be hardened on one edge and not on the other. Yeah, and then the sun moves as well. Exactly. So to measure out your resin, I'm using just as I say a little pair of kitchen scales, and I'm going to do. Just a small demo with the resin, because obviously it won't set in time on the show. But the nice thing about resin is you have time to work with it. Unlike yeah. jewel enamel that you have to pour straight away and get it done quickly and there's, there's no time, you've got plenty of time to work with the resin, which is something I really, really enjoy, because I like to be quite precise with my resin. I and like to have time. you can change your mind. You can, yeah. You're nothing set in stone with it at this stage, which is really handy as well. You see, in between each time, um, I'm changing the resin. So I've just poured out um, three grams of resin. I'm going to do one and a half grams of the epoxy hardener as well. But I've just turned the scales off in between to so make it's sure. So twice the resin. Twice the resin. Or half the amount of epoxy to whatever yeah, resin you're yeah, using. Yeah, exactly. And that's important, Hannah. And that's really important that you get that mix right, um, because you've got two chemical agents there that you want to bond together, work together to form your resin at the end of the day. So it comes with a pipette, so I'm not touching anything. There's no smell, Hannah. No, there's no smell. If you are working in resin, I've put it on before the show, we do have barrier cream on the website. That's just to protect your hands. If you don't have any barrier cream, you can use gloves as well, because you don't want to get this on your skin, because it can be a little bit itchy sometimes. But you can I've use petroleum jelly. That yep, works absolutely. as a great uh, barrier. It doesn't have to be a specific barrier cream. No, it doesn't need to be. So I've poured out three grams of the resin to one and a half grams of the epoxy hardener just into my little tub there. And I'm gonna need to mix that together before I start uh, you know, introducing it into the mold at all. So I'm gonna just grab that pot and I'm You're gonna mix. You're not panicking here, Hannah. You're not going, right, I've gotta quickly mix that. No, I've got all the time in the world. Everything's done at a nice pace. Now, if like me, you're somebody who has to, thanks Ali to Foy Floor Manager. <laughs> Beautifully done. <laughs> it was. I loved it. Thank you. Uh, now um, you're not worrying about time here. No. For me, this is good. I'm a klutz. Yeah. When I have to hurry, I trip over and yep. I break things. I mean, I work in jewel enamel as well. I love working in jewel enamel. I love enamel, jewel enamel. But. I prefer making this type of thing in resin because I want to be able to take my time Ooh, over it's it. It's about what we're creating. Yeah. Uh, jewel enamel is wonderful for so many different things. It's a different medium entirely, as is shrink plastic, as is mm -hmm. perspex. 
different uh, different types of jewelry making for different yeah. genres of jewelry Absolutely. is what we're talking about now i've got some different kind of scales while hannah's mixing that how long should you mix you should mix for about two minutes but you don't want to go crazy you don't want to start like really 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 stirring it because you don't want any bubbles. air bubbles to get yeah, into you'll it get air bubbles. yeah so just slow and methodical i'm going to give to you now lots of different colors scales now scale mail isn't just for resin it will also create beautiful jewelry can i just grab that sorry i just grab that uh scale mail peels sorry thank you my darling now if you bought the dremel earlier thanks kaz my lovely uh then you can etch into scales look at this now, i think did Gemma crow do this one Gemma loves scale mm, it's beautiful and did janet do this one i think it was janet uh no, I think Debbie did that one. Debbie Deb Rudge. Oh, it was Deb Rudge. Rouge. Rouge. Deb Rouge. Have a look. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't it wonderful? And I'm going to give you some different colours. This is just to show you an example of what else you can do with scales. So they are great to have in your stash. So you've got this one as well. I think this was Gemma Crow. And actually, Gemma has texturised these with the, um, with the interchangeable hammer. Isn't that fab? Now, let me show you what colour scales you have got. So you've got the black. You have also got the orange. You have also got the silver. You have also got the green. One edge is domed and one edge, can you see, it curves like a leaf. You got the fuchsia and the purple. They look amazing together, those two mm. colours. You can put your jump rings through them. Right, they should be 30 to 70. You get 100 of mm -hmm. each scale. You've got 600 scales. You can flatten them, you can work the Dremel on them, you can do your alcohol inks on them, you can put them in your resins. They're a great addition to your stash. They're only 1990. Let me show you the colours. Aren't they lovely? Well, I've only used 18 scales in this bangle. 18 scales? Yeah. You've got 600 here. <laughs> You're going to go on for ages. Actually, a, um, a resin bangle with all the different colours would be wonderful, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would look fab. 1990. So let's get on to Hannah and see at what stage we're at with the resin bangle. Okay, so that resin's um, really nicely mixed now. I've got a few air bubbles. So a little trick, it might sound a bit bizarre, and you have to be careful when you do this, is just to take this pot ever so slightly above the table and just drop it uh, just carefully that? because that, the bubbles rise to the surface and then pop so oh. if they're deep in the resin it will come out and you'll get no no bubbles in your resin and just pops all the resin that's a, bubbles that's a good tip. it's just a little 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 tip there and now what you can do i mix it up in stages so i don't have a great big vat of resin because i don't want to waste any um not that you're going to waste it because you've got plenty of time to work with it but it's just handier to m mix up smaller amounts and what you can do using your stick you can either encourage the resin sort of into a little or the, the pot into a spout and just pour that over or when you get to sort of the finer stages you can just drop the resin in and sort of scoop it in or you can go absolutely crazy and just pour it in one go just as long as you're being careful with it now you're not worrying about going over the top of this mold no, it doesn't hammer. matter at all it doesn't matter at all because once you have to do this a couple of times to fill up the mold entirely and then you can just once it's cured you can just peel off all of the excess and polish it up as well so that so you don't want to just make one big load of it no you can that. do if you find that easier to work with but i just find it easier to have more control over it for these little pots and just keep scooping it in scooping it in and like here i've got a little bit over the edge so i can just encourage that into the rest of the the mold because it's a liquid it will find its surface as well so it will settle down gravity will work and it will go in between all these little links there and it will look amazing once you add all the layers to it and that's all you do you just keep just gently adding in the, the resin until you get to a flush sort of surface against the edge of the bangle mold there are we going to be seeing ring molds in this way as well i can certainly try and find some i think it would be lovely to yeah. make a ring that you can put your own things yeah. inside would really, be really really pretty, lovely touch definitely well we did have the cabochon molds on earlier so if you if you did get them you could do that and you could use them in rings oh yeah, right you sort could, of size. Yeah, yeah yeah so that would be that would be a way to work it so i'm going to put that one to one side and then just show and that's the other thing put it on a surface that's flat 
For how long do I need to uh, put it to one side? Overnight, I would leave it, yeah. Hours? I would leave it. You can leave it overnight. It's normally fine in the morning, but I would always say 24 hours just to be sure. So pop it to one side on a flat surface, somewhere that's stable in temperature, and then you can obviously start start using it. To, to do the pearls and the chain, it's exactly the same. But in this case, what I've done is grab the chain, grab the strand. I've not even re-stranded these pearls. I've left them on the on the normal strand that they come on. And just you don't need to. No, do you don't you? need to. And I've just literally just twisted the chain through, really haphazardly. You know, it doesn't need to be neat at this stage. No, actually, you want it to be quite quirky, don't you? You do. It's quite nautical. This look, isn't it? Yes. You could use rope. You could use anything. Oh, in yeah, rope would look be really nice. Cool. And that's quite on trend as well for your nautical mm. theme. Mm. Just trim down that chain. Shells from a seaside visit. Yeah, anything memory-wise would be great. And literally just drop that into the mold. It goes around twice, I found, which was quite handy. Just adjust the chain. And again, that's all you need to do. And then just start adding the resin. You literally just start scooping it in, scooping it in. Go slowly with this one because obviously you've got a lot of surface area or volume, should I say, taken up with the pearls and things. So it fills up quite quickly, this one. Uh, I think this one took about four grams to six grams of um, epoxy and then obviously half that in the hardener as well. And that just fills up to the top and then you let it set. You let it um, cure. Do I need to do another layer over the top once it's cured? Yeah, once it's done, it's nice to, if you, because it's doming resin. Because it can resin. stop it will stop flat at the top. Yeah, it stops flat and it almost slightly little sinks a bit. So once you've taken it out of its mould, which is what this stage is here, um, this one came out quite um So just pop out, dull. Hannah. Yeah, literally, um, all you have to do, I haven't got one in a mould that's cured, but you literally, you need to be quite forceful with it, but you can squish this right down in the centre and pull the sides up, and that these areas of the mould will then release, so that so you're pushing like that, and you'll be able oh, to get yeah, your finger okay. in and just pull, and pull the resin out. it's flexible enough that we can do that? Yeah, and it just pops back into place. You can literally just squidge it right down, and it will pop back okay. into place again. And it's sturdy, it's strong. I'm feeling absolutely. this, it feels very strong. Yeah, absolutely. What, is it, what kind of plastic is this made out um, of? I don't know, I think it's like a, a type of silicon or something. Yeah, um, it's silicon, isn't it, because it's really... Yeah, it's really flexible. Um, but it's not like what we've had for the Caranthamol moulds. If you put resin in one of the green Caranthamol moulds, it comes out... Um, almost like a, a satin effect because yeah. it reacts but this one these ones have I'm come out of these molds which yeah. are new and they have come out this shiny I haven't polished these at all whereas this one came out of an older mold and you can see it started to to what, scuff a up a little one. bit yeah it's more of a, a different I type quite of like silicon it though, but you can still buff it up yeah so actually if you look at that it's fit in the mold that's what it's amazing <laughs> isn't it amazing and then you just pop it, oh hang on, you said bring it down here. Bring it down there, that's it. And then take it out. And then take it out, lift Yay. it out. They do stick, they do, it can be a little bit tricky to get them out sometimes, but just persevere um, and they will, they will eventually just pop, pop You can out. use the mould over and over and over yep. and over and over and over and over. Yep, absolutely. It's just endless, over and over and over and over again and create the exact same size bangle each time as well, the exact same shape. So if you want to do sort of stackers in bangles, if you want to have like a whole collection where they're all the same, you wear them all together, it's a perfect mould for that. Just brilliant. We need to see more of this, Hannah. We need to see more of it. So you want to buff it up. Now, if it yeah. didn't get my Dremel, is there another way of buffing? Absolutely. So you can use the needle files. Once it comes out the mould, you'll find this one hasn't had its dome put on the other edge, so it's still quite concave on that side. So you would introduce some resin into there just to make it a little bit more domed. Once that's all set, you'll find when it's come out of the mould, you might have a couple of air bubbles that you want to get rid of. Or if you've slipped on the mould and you've got like um overspill of the resin all you need to do is get on the website grab some of our needle files and it's exactly the same as what we saw earlier with the um the perspex actually same materials that you use to buff and polish just to take those sharp edges off because remember you are putting this onto a wrist so you want to make sure any of that overspill is just flattened out and also buffed away so flat side to flat side then I'll, if i want to polish this inside circle here i'm using a more rounded file edge so we're going in with the rounded side and just buffing that as well. It doesn't take long, it's quite a nice, nice thing to sit and polish, but again, you can do with this with the Dremel if you did come in and buy that earlier as well. We're just brushing off all of the dust that that's kicking up. Remember, you, know, you don't want to breathe this sort of thing in. And again, you can then start going up with the finest on the, the buffing papers as well just to get a nice high shine finish. Now this is probably, um, you can do this wet as well so it brings it up quicker. 
and then you just can file away all of the edges just to make sure they're nice and soft and rounded because ultimately someone's going to put this on their wrist and you want it to be a really good finish for them and these are the see. same uh, wet and dry sanders that you yep. were using earlier we had them on the show yep. earlier a great price tag I don't know where they've gone. That would be good to put up now for you, actually. You literally just they are 14 95 something like that. 17 95 And you had three different sanding sponges, and they're large. Larger than the ones Hannah's just cut hers. Yeah, I cut mine up. There's no point using a whole one in, in one go because it's going to last you longer if you cut it into smaller yeah. squares. But that just buffing all the way around, and you can feel, once you sort of take some time over it, then give it a little wash, that will come up really, really high shine finish. And you've got lovely, lovely soft areas to work with as well in there. Perfect. So you give it a buff, mm -hmm. a good old buff. Now I'm going to give you some Carantha molds as well because a lot of people are asking, and a lot of people are asking, what exact mediums can I place inside this and can I use it as a bangle template if I'm using wire? You can use it as a bangle template if you're using wire. As we've discussed, because it needs to be slightly flexible to get the resin out, what I would do is make a plain resin bangle from it and then use that as your bangle mold. Oh. So make one of these and then use this because this is really nice and hard. You'll be able to shape things around it, bend things around it if you wanted to make a wire bangle mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. this side. You'd literally be able to push the wire across the surface and hold it in place and that's what I would do with it rather than trying to do it on tier because you don't want to damage this and you want to continue using this with resin and jewel enamel. Okay, so I'm going to give you some Carantha moulds which you can use yep. with your resin. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, now you might be thinking, right, I'm getting right on the resin bandwagon. You've got the round cab. You've got the flower, and you have got the Roman goddess. We've got a trio of Carantha REG C09. We're going to give you the price tag of just thirteen ninety five. Now, Carantha molds are heat proof. They can go in the oven. Mm -hmm. They can go in the dishwasher. They can be used for baking. Yep. They can be used for jewelry making. They can be used for crafting. They can be used for your card crafting. All sorts of things. You can put your resin in there, your friendly plastic in there. You can use these for loads of different mediums. Mm -hmm. Now, Hannah, we're getting lots of questions about, uh, um, I know we covered it earlier, but a lot of people just tuning in. Mm -hmm. Can they use their jewel enamels? Yep. Can they use uh, their friendly plastics inside this? Yep. What, what can you I can use? You can use your jewel enamel, um, certainly. If you're going to make a jewel, um, jewel enamel bangle, you're best off using Crafty Flex. So mix your Crafty Flex into your jewel enamel powder. Where where do I get that from? It's all on the website. It's all on the website under Jewel Enamel. If it's not on there um, currently, it's because we do have a Jewel Enamel show coming up on Wednesday afternoon with I Liz. I think it's Thursday, isn't it? Wednesday? Thursday. 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 Sorry. And Liz and I will be doing Jewel Enamel. Enamel friendly and we have got Crafty Flex in that show. show. So if it's not on the website, it will just be because it's scheduled away for that show. But the beauty of using a resin bangle, like we've said, if you're using it for memories, if you're using it for something for an everyday piece, it's much more stronger than what the jewel enamel is. Jewel enamel is great for those fun, funky pieces, but it is brittle. brittle, which is why you do need the Crafty Flex with your bangle moulds. Um, you can push things like polymer clay into it, but it's not going to make a bangle. It's not going to make a really, really secure. If you've done like some beads and like or a, a rope effect in your in your polymer clay, you can use this as a gauge or your canes. Or your canes and things like that you can use it that way but you can't just go ahead and push um, polymer clay because when you try and squidge it out obviously it's just going to all squidge back together and it's, it's not going to keep the, the mold it's not going to keep the shape of the mold um, you can certainly again put your friendly plastic things like that in there but mm -hmm. the most versatile medium to use with this would be your resin because you can put absolutely anything you can think of in resin your photographs threads lace pearls gilding plates I've got a question. Mm -hmm. um, you know when you put pineapple in jelly, it doesn't set? Yeah. <laughs> Is there anything I can put in resin that will stop it setting? I'm not going to put pineapple in there. Well, I might. Well, no, there's not, there's not anything I can, I can think of off the top of my head. I mean, anything you put into it, um, you, it would need to be sort of more dried, like, you know, dried flowers, confetti, petals, that sort of thing, rather than like a, a big 
Chunk bold of pineapple. Like, but yeah, I wouldn't put that in it. You, you could try. I don't know whether it would work or well, not. I've never done it does myself. Not set jelly. Did you know that? I didn't know that. It doesn't, unless there's a way of doing it. Somebody tell me. We got some text messages from Oriana. <laughs> uh, we'll bring those text messages uh, to the screen now to get them in. Uh, Karen Ivarch here says, Hi, J and H. Can you make two bangles and glue them together or resin them together, actually? Loving the show. You were so naughty, Jenny Teasing, Hannah. <laughs> she is naughty. You tease me. Exactly you teased me it's when I got a boyfriend. Fair. I didn't. I didn't at all. Quite you did. You lot made it so that he was my boyfriend in the first place. We did. It was all good. It was all down to Chloe. St Chloe told him I didn't fancy him. I'd never even met him. Told him I fancied him. I'd never even met him. <laughs> Yeah, it's because we're all really That's good friends. Yeah, you certainly can put um, two bangle molds together, and actually, it forms a really nice effect. What you would do before you start polishing and finishing is uh, resin layer in between and just so set them on top. So resin, not glue, and then it'll set even Yeah, better. yeah, resin instead of glue. Make set them really on top. One, you can make a really, really, really chunky one. Let it dry, let it cure, and then take it apart. Well, not apart, but take it out of whatever it is that you're holding in. And then what you want to do is then just go across and file all of this down, smooth it all down with the sanding pad. You will still, you will see a line between the two because it's just how it's going to oh, be. Oh, I, I don't mind that. But that kind of looks cool. Yeah, I like it. Um, but you just want to get rid of any ridges so it's as smooth as possible to the touch. But yeah, you can certainly do that. Two bangles together would be a fab idea. Any more questions? Keep them coming through. We're getting lots of comments about. We haven't had any Jenny Kyle comments. Well, we might have, but Martha will be refusing <laughs> to put them up. REGC zero nine is your item code uh, for uh, the kit. Oh no, but that's for the Coranthe moles, wasn't it? Now uh, we got some resin additions for you. Oh, I love this. The this is the colored one. Oh yeah. my gosh. Really, really, really. That would make the most beautiful bang. It would look really, really funky as well for a sort of a a Christmas dress little like black that. dress or yes. something like that. I must Amazing. make you make a bangle out of it. Now, with the glitter one, do I treat it in a different way? No. Oh my gosh. That, that, oh. That's like a, like that's a, like a, like a mystic color. Black yeah. Sheeny car. one. Like a really good car. No, there's no difference in this, exactly the same way. Two parts of the epoxy resin to one part of the hardener. Mix it in exactly the same way and pour it and set it in exactly the same way for exactly the same amount of time. What else do I get with it? Is it let me see, orange sparkle resin, bronze pearl resin. Is that the right one? That's not orange sparkle. No, that's not. Hang on. That's not the one I've got here, right there. Let me see, let me see. No, I don't have that, I'm afraid. I've got the other one. I've got the silver effect metallic glitter and I've got the black olive, which is really sparkly. They're just, we're just having a look. Yeah, it looks exactly the same, it, you know, uh, product wise, it's just different, different glitters colors. within it, yeah. So you have got 30 grams of the hardener, 30 grams of the orange sparkle resin that you see on the right. In the middle of the bronze pearl resin, we're going to give you the three for a wonderful price tag of £15.95. How many bangles can I make out of that? It really depends on the size you're making them. But as I said, I mean, I've only just used up one jar and that's taken loads and loads and loads of bangles, probably about 10 to 15. Really? Yeah, easily. Biking. Easily. If you, if you use it in conjunction with other things, obviously you're not taking up the whole volume of the bangle with resin itself. It does look fabulous. I'm going to give you the silver now. Look in the lid, isn't it lovely? Oh! I mean, the best thing about this resin is uh, with the preset glitter to it, the glitter is a special glitter. It yes. will stay throughout the resin. It's not going to sink and all pile up in the, in the bottom of your bangle. It'll be throughout your bangle. There's a reason for that. It's a different cut. It's a different cut, and it's also a super fine, lightweight glitter. Uh, so it's a special, more expensive glitter. It actually. is more expensive glitter. And then you've got like a... An Aston Martin black, I'm oh, going to call it. That's a good description of it. It's not coming across on camera, but you've got a really beautiful pearlescence to it as well. It's amazing. It, as well. it has. Do you, have you ever had? Um, it, well, it's just like a glittery, glittery, glittery nail polish. Yeah. Fantastic. You get the pipette. I do like a pipette. I do like a pipette. It's much easier to measure with because these pipettes suck up about 0.5 of a gram. The, every household should have a pipette. <laughs> this should be legal. The epoxy hardener. So you need half the amount of epoxy hardener 
to your resin. That's correct. Always remember that, and then you can't go far wrong. KYR B64, the Smart Neutral Resin Bundle. All yours for fourteen ninety five. And I reckon it's about ten bangles out of this. Easily, I would say, yeah. You would easily be able to see that. Which means it's £1.40 a bangle it's cost you to make. You could sell it for a lot more than that, couldn't you? And there's literally I'd no say, work well, involved. You pour gonna it in. Perfect, it's going to make the perfect birthday yeah, present. Yeah, absolutely. You, you literally just pour it, you mix it, pour it into the bangle, let it set, polish it a bit and you're done. I think this is wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. And actually, like you know me as going to this party tonight, there is no nothing I could have bought that child for one pound forty no. for me, and this is great. You can make gifts for people yeah. out of it, and I think that in itself is going to save you a lot of money. Uh, gorgeous Zena. Zena's the one that sent me the Jolly Ranchers, Hannah. Oh, Zena's amazing. And the egg-shaped pan. She was so yeah, cool. Yeah, eggs. Hot she eggs. So cool. She was like the best. We loved those Jolly I Ranchers. I love Zena. I'm jealous of her sons. They're very lucky boys. I know. Uh, Holly, hello. Yvette, Pat, Suze, Lisa, Tracy, Gillian, Anne uh, in Essex. Pamela, you've got yours. Samantha, Norma, Laurie, uh, Heather. Laurie, you only pay one P and P today. You've been shopping, shopping, shopping. Sandra. Sharon in Essex, Kirsty and Linda in Sussex. Holly in North Yorkshire, I like the way you're spelling your name. Uh, Heather, you've got yours as well. Now, my dear hearts. Oh, we've only got a bit of swelligan. Have you got the rest of the swelligan to go with that then? I've got the prep. I'll give you the DVD, like the, the resin DVD. Now, it comes with the DVD and this? No. No, says Danny. Who gave you that? Who gave me that? I don't know. One of the seven people that are flooring for me today. <laughs> because my floor manager's not here. I don't know where he's gone he's now. Just gone. He's gone for a little sleep, probably. He's the best. Look, there he is. <laughs> what would you like to do? Sorry, Danny. Ah, oh, now these look Gilding fabulous. Gilding plates, yeah. Literally pack as much as you can into the mould. You probably want to put a little bit of resin in just so the um, surface area and the rest of the gilding plates have an area to stick to and then just literally go mad with them. Danny, the reason I didn't know what you're talking about is because you called it pirate gliding. It's pirate gilding plates. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole other thing. Pirate Where gliding? Where is a pirate gliding? Oh. I'm like, I am confused. <laughs> and they say, I'm mad? If you get out the pirate gliding, get out the pirate gliding, he's going to it. I don't no. know what pirate gliding means. <laughs> oh, the pirate's treasure gilding flakes. Mm -hmm. oh, they're amazing. You can put these, you can press these over the top of your polymer clay. You can put these into your jewel enamel. They, these must look wonderful inside yeah. resin. It's just they float. Pack. Yeah, they do float in the resin. So what you have to do, put, as I say, put a layer in, Sprinkle them all in and just start using your, your mixing stick, poking them all down into the resin and that, and that just it sort of encases them in the resin and just add them, add them gently but pack as much as you can into the bangle because it looks amazing with these oh. in. Look at that, you get loads and you only need a tiny pinch. I've never run out of gilding flakes and I use it for, I don't use it in jewellery making at the moment because I'm not good enough. Well I am, no I just haven't done, you know when I do stuff like this I generally do this kind of thing at home, mm -hmm. at, at work. Gilding flakes we use very much in the kids' crafts. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. They're really, really good in in, um, in card making and um, paper crafts. Very yeah. good for homework projects yeah. for me at home. I actually think, again, you know, sometimes I say to you they're crafty essentials. When they work across the broad of mediums of jewellery making, uh, not just jewellery making, but craft in general, then I would always recommend it. Gilding flakes will add a touch of metallic luster to anything. You can stick them to whatever you're crafting with. Yep. They are wonderful. You can press them into things, you can glaze over the top of them. I use PVA glue over the top of them um, when we're doing paper crafts. Yeah, it doing, just like, seals it in, doesn't it? Yeah, and anything like that um, looks amazing. Both of these, Don't Flake Out is the uh, bundle name. Don't Flake <laughs> Out. UDGC09 is your item code. For seven pounds, you're getting all of your gilding flakes. We're going to go for a quick break, and then we are coming back with some more phenomenal tips from Hannah. Be right back. If 
you're new to jewellery making and want to learn all the essential techniques, then this is the perfect workshop for you. Join experienced resident designer Linda and learn how to get to grips with this addictive hobby. Learn how to create necklaces, earrings and bracelets with genuine gemstones. You will also have the opportunity to try a range of jewellery making mediums for beginners including wirework, macrame and kumihimo. The full course includes a wide selection of gemstones and findings, threading materials, 0.4 and 0.8 silver plated wire, use of all relevant tools, a buffet style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studio and our museum and a visit to our shop. All of this for just £59.95. For more information contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Start your new hobby today with Jewellery Maker. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Here at the Genuine Gemstone Company, we are happy to announce that our studio store is now open. If you attend any of our courses, you can now browse through special items, get exclusive discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Become an exclusive customer at the studio store. For more information on available courses and dates, please contact our call center. The new studio store. The experience just got better. If you miss a Jewelry Maker show, then simply go to our YouTube page where you'll be able to find hours of Jewelry Maker footage. Search by show, date or type. Alternatively, search by guest designer by using our playlist page. You can also find hours of tutorials with handy hints and tips to give you inspiration. Our YouTube page is updated on a daily basis so you can access any show at any time. Stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can now keep in touch by liking Jewelry Maker UK on Facebook. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Do you need a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewellery making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewellery making techniques. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order for just 50p and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from the Genuine Gemstone Company. Our commitment here at Jury Maker is to provide you with genuine gemstones. Many places might not be able to do that, but we want to guarantee it. So how do we do it? We go to the laboratories and we get tests. We have our own in-house gemologists that can guarantee that when we say genuine gemstones, that's exactly what you're getting. Tiger's eye is a gemstone that can be masculine or feminine. It comes in like these luscious caramel colours. And when you get it in fuchsia, that's my favourite when it's bright pink. Love that. And the chatoyancy makes it so different. It sort of follows you around the room. So it makes for some really interesting pieces. Tiger's Eye was one of the first gemstones that I was ever exposed to. My mum bought me a beautiful Tiger's Eye bracelet um, when I was away at university and I've worn it ever since. It has a lot of personal value to me. Not only that though, the jewellery maker Tiger's Eye which you can get exudes so much chatoyancy and, and more chatoyancy than I've ever seen from any other Tiger's Eye. The carat weights are brilliant, you can get it in dyed qualities but it's the natural essence of the gemstone which I think people find so attractive about it and that's probably one of the reasons why it's one of our biggest sellers. Thank you. 
Welcome back. We're going to give you some different colourways of perfect in a moment. And actually, I said, Hannah, I want to get my Dremel out again, so we're going to do that. But before I do that, while Kaz is uh, un unpeeling everything for me, we'll give you your resin DVD. Uh, now, your resin DVD, a lot of you have been asking for this. Your resin DVD takes you step by step by step. You will learn lots of different techniques. If you love steampunk, this is great. You've got a whole hour. Mm -hmm. Who is this with? This is with uh, Claire John, who was yes, our original. Yes, from Cheltenham, Yeah, isn't she it? launched our resin range. Claire John takes you through, and Claire John um, actually makes a lot of jewelry where she does memory pieces. This is her big yeah. thing. Memory pieces where she encapsulates photographs. She's going to show you how to do that in this DVD. HBMP15 is your item code. You're going to learn how to encapsulate memories, how to make different pieces, how to use um, the, the molds that you see here, the bezel molds that you see here, but also how to use them and then take the resin out and use the pieces as individual ovals or cabochons that you've made as well. Now the resin DVD is all yours for just $4.95. If you haven't got it in your collection but you have bought from today's show, look, 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 isn't it gorgeous? Polymer clay hearts inside and then actually the other one is a Christmas bauble. I did this with her, with her didn't did I? Did you? I yeah, think yeah, I did. I think you remember that was ages ago we filmed that one, wasn't it? A couple yeah. years ago now. But yeah, it's a really, really good DVD. And like Jen said, it gets you started in everything you need to know about resin as well. It actually gets you really excited because you see all these brilliant projects. You're like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. Yeah. I really, uh, you might be thinking, and now that's just done with a simple jump ring and bits of wire. It's fab, isn't it? That's the coloured resin in there. Uh, now there's there's so many different projects and one of my favourite ones is the photograph or the lock of hair. Yeah. Also things like uh, if you've got a, f a favourite pet, um, I know that buying uh, the horse hair bracelets are very expensive so encapsulating horse hair in, or, or you know anything like that or your dog tag or your cat's name tag or anything yeah. like that is special to you. Yeah. You know you can really create very very special pieces. If you're doing a keepsake box for your children, I know both of mine have still got their first dummies, their first pairs of shoes, things like that. Um, and you can encapsulate those in, in resin as well if you wanted to. Now I'm going to give you some different perspex. We're going to be doing some gem setting into perspex in a minute. This could perhaps be a bookmark or something, mm -hmm. couldn't it? Now we started the show with the perspex. Perspex is going to make some stunning pieces. So I'm going to give you an example of what you can do with perspex. This is a black perspex and that's how we started the show today. Um, and with the black perspex you and your Dremel or your other drill bits, you can do so much. I'm going to give to you in this pack the clear. Can you even see that? No. <laughs> <She's holding laughs> up nothing. There we go. The clear. Can you see? The clear. It's not clear anymore. With my grubby mitts on it. You're going to get the blue. You're also going to get the white. You can't see that clear at all, can you? You're going to get the navy. Do you get all of them? Do you? Yeah. And the black. I'm going to give you some other colours in a minute as well. Don't have to pick, you get them all. Maybe if I put that one there, you'll see that that's clear. Oh, way up. Thanks, Hannah. <laughs> so you get the clear, the black, the two different blues, and the white. Only nine seventy-five. That's brilliant, yeah, that's Hannah. That's a really, really good price. Can this that. be expensive if I buy it elsewhere? It can be. Yeah. I mean, it's, it is a cheaper medium to work in. As I said earlier, if you're looking to begin work in metal sheet, you're a little bit nervous to start that up. This is a much more affordable way to get started with the same skill set that you use on metal sheet. Cuts very easy with a Dremel or with your saw, saw yep. which we had on today's show. Uh, and Hannah's going to show us how to set some gemstones into it. So I've got another colourway for you in a minute as well. Oh, it's only 8.75 now. Yeah, I'm taking it down a little bit. Oh, he's a rascal. <laughs> uh, now, I'm going to give you... I love these. Yeah, Think these about making your... You can actually etch into these with, your, with the Dremel and make names yep. and stuff like that. And these make really, really fun, funky summer bangles as well. Now remember, just pop in them in the oven, 150? 150. 150 for about 10, 15 minutes. Not the microwave like Not I the asked. microwave, no. Well, you know I'm going to ask it. I put my phone in the microwave, you know that? No, I didn't. I dropped it in the washing up bowl and panicked and put it in the microwave and it melted. It stank the house out, Hannah, for about four days. <laughs> anyway, I never used that phone again. Have a <laughs> Look at all these colours, wowzers. These are fabulous colours, really, Aren't really, really they good colours. just stand? Nah. 
Oh, I, they're so much fun. You can make names, you yep. can make your shop signs, you can make bangles, you can uh, put little lights in them, you, you can put uh, drill holes through them. Mm -hmm. I mean, there is loads you can do with Perspex. It is such a wonderful crafty medium. And I think if you're getting your chap involved in this, I think they quite like this as well. Yeah, because it's a little bit more hands-on. It's not as sort of fiddly and fine as what bead jewellery is or anything like that. It's mm. a little bit more robust. And it's it's just fun. It's the sort of thing anyone anyone could turn their hand to and learn the skills for it. I agree. I love these colours. It's also wonderful if you're doing um, if you're doing scrapbooking. Great for the front yep. of books and things like that. Nine ninety five. I Q G C forty six. You've got the green, the aqua, the yellow, the red, the white, and the orange is what you get. Was eleven seventy five now nine ninety five. We're gonna have some demonstrations from Hannah. Your other colourways at the bottom of the screen. We're gonna have some demos from Hannah. I'm gonna give you something a little bit special. You are. You're gonna use your gem. A lot of people have bought the gem today. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you the Asian gem collection. Now, of course, you're a gemologist as well as a jewellery designer. Mm -hmm. I try. Um, so it's quite exciting for you to use uh, gemstones that are perhaps birth gemstones if you were going to set a peridot in there and give it to somebody for August birth gems, mm -hmm. you could etch into there a little message about August or what have you, saying for Garnet, uh, you know, there are some birth gemstones in here. These are, they're just beautiful. They look actually. really lovely, really, really lovely pieces. And they're not drill holes, so you can set no. these into your rings if, you've got, if you're doing your gem setting. You can put these into your silver clay, your precious clay. You've got a red spinel, you've got a ratanakiri cognac zircon, You've got a step cut ruby, checkerboard cut to Mongolian andesite, black star diopside, an evergreen Hunan peridot, Cillian scapolite, silimonite, armor iolite, you've got a blue zircon, Himalayan kyanite, and a chalcedony. Hannah, to have these in my collections, even if I'm really interested in gemstones, it's a great one to have. Yeah, it? these are gem quality gemstones. They're absolutely beautiful clarity, beautiful faceting to them, they're really, really high shine gemstones. And they're great if you're showing and telling. You're saying, you know, this is the type of gemstones I work with. I can set this gemstone in a silver clay ring for you. It's just absolutely beautiful. And it shows you really know your stuff as well. And they really are. I don't think you can quite see the, the uh, stunning effect, um, actually from these inside that box and they are such i mean even if you want to frame them if you just love to collect gemstones look at that you could just spend hours just looking which at which one them. is this is this the seal that looked like a triple a tassel it does, is it, it? Oh, it's gorgeous beautiful quality mm, that's beautiful it's a lot of purple to it very 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 pretty what is that is that the himalayan kyanite do you think yeah i think so it could be. It could Look be at that light. star diopside. Oh, you can't Ooh. mistake that one, can you? Beautiful. Really good quality. Fantastic, aren't they? And then you've got a spinel. I mean, there's just loads. Absolutely loads. So, let's see. If I, which one are you going to set in? Um, I'll take one. Well, probably the Peridot, since it's my I birthday. Love, I love that. When are you? <laughs> August the what? August 5th. Are oh, you? So you're a Leo. Yes. Yeah. Leo, little Leo. She's a Leo. <laughs> Okay, so there's a couple of ways you could do this. I will attempt it two ways, but um, I'm not a wire worker, so forgive me now if it all goes horribly, horribly wrong. No, I won't. <laughs> no. I can just imagine Laura Binding sort of sitting crying at the television. Box, you dexterity girl. No, it's all right. We're nearly there. Makes for great viewing on the television, doesn't it? There we go. There we go. Okay, and that's a really nice thing about these because they come all in the little boxes as well. So I know, they're all yeah. safe and secure. Yeah, they're not going to fall out of there, are they? So we could do it two ways. We can do it the way uh, where you drill set, bezel set it, and then glue it into place, like mm. we saw earlier with the um, little CD beads that we had on. Or we could try, see how we go, with prong setting it. Because don't forget, you can try and do that. Prong I will try. I'm not perspex. great, but yeah, you can, you can do it. What have you got it. there, the clear perspex or the? I've got the clear perspex here. With the, with the um, thing on, yeah. the plastic on. Now, obviously, if I was, yeah, I've got one surface uh, taken off so I can see what I'm working on, and then the clip, and um, then the protective sheet still on the background. If I was at home, I would obviously be measuring this out properly and making sure I've got it right in the centre of my piece. Um, but what you want to do is create four little holes that you can wrap the wire through to create the prongs for the gemstone itself. I like the idea of this. Okay, I do too. How it's going to work out, this I have no idea. This is going to be no great idea. in a bracelet. We were thinking. Um, 
bookmarks for a special birthday present in the Dremel goes. Were you lucky enough to get the Dremel today? I hope you were. I'm so sorry that the Dremel has sold out. When can we expect stock of those, Hannah? Probably not for about three to four weeks because it does take a little while to get them in and it depends what stocks can are available. Can we do available. a whole Dremel show? Yeah, we can do a whole Dremel show. Um, we'll try and get some new stocks in as well. If, we, if people have been asking for the um, sort of soldering and things like that, we'll see what we can do about it. I love a soldering one. Yeah, didn't we last Christmas. We did, yeah. It was a little while ago. So I haven't got all the equipment here that I would need to prong set this properly, but if I show you just the basics, it gives you enough of an idea to go home and try this yourself. So I'm going to cut off enough room for me to work with and you see I'm putting that through and treat it just as you would do a normal jewellery setting so I want to bend that side over so that sits underneath and what I would do on this side is then just create almost like a rivet I'd trim this down and then hammer it flat into place Ooh. because what that's going to create that is it, it, the prong is going to sit into place it's not going to slip out anywhere no 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 you just have to be a little bit more careful with it but just make sure that it's nice and tight within its setting there Make another prong on there. This one can come through as well. I mean, what you could even do is do longer pieces so you can get two prongs at the same time. What that would then do, you see they're just standing straight upright yeah. onto the perspex itself. And obviously, you, you do need a little bit of time. It's not the sort of thing you can do sort of sitting in a, in a, a jewellery studio. But you see how I've ensured the prongs sit just ever so slightly apart. And what you want to start doing is easing that gemstone into place. You can bezel out the surface just ever so slightly to make sure that the pavilion of the gemstone is held in place. That would probably be an easier way to go. Oh, <clears throat> and you have to do it quite carefully because obviously you don't want any of the bezeling out to show. So what are you doing now? Creating a groove for the gemstone? Yeah, just creating a little um, area because otherwise, because the pavilion is sitting in the way, the gemstone is not going to sit it's in the flat. Isn't yeah. It? So what you really need to do is sort of really take your time measuring this out at home, ensuring this is going to accommodate the gem itself. But you get the you get the gist of the idea. And once you've sort of drilled that down enough, the gemstone will eventually sort of sit in. sit in nice and straight. You already see that sitting quite nicely yeah, there. Yeah. And then all you need to do, using your pusher tools that come in the gem setting toolkit, is just ease these prongs over and snip them down. And then just needle file them off. So you can set And then two on the other side. Yeah, repeat it on the other side. Or make these longer so they come up around and up again perfect thank you so much hannah now your perspex is on your screen we're going to let hannah get on with her challenge now and we're going to trot on over and give you i've got some i've got some half square wire Ooh. now it is within a bundle you can't get it on its own it's the only half square wire that we've got for you and don't forget tomorrow we have the um flush cutter tools and the twister tool the twisted wire uh, in stock for you. Now, I have got for you the half round wire, which is an 18 gauge, which looks about a 0.6, I think. Let me see. It says it somewhere. 6.5, which is the amount. Oh, hang on. 0.1 mil by 0.5 mil is what it is. Now, this is the half round wire. Alice and Terry made a beautiful Kristen bracelet, which is in my collection now. I wear it all the time. I love it. Now, these are great from wrapping over. Let me show you. Do you remember when Alice and Terry did this? Can you remember when she did the little um, sort of wrapping the, the square wire together? Now, this is very popular. This is the only way. I'm just being told you can't get the, this on the website individually, can you? It's your half round wire. You have also got two very high-end, this is a high-end bundle, two very high-end gemstones. It's not on its own, that half round wire. You have got your pink opal and you have got your purple opal. 
Now your pink opal graduated rondelles are seven by five to nine by six, and those are on an 18 centimeter strand. Four by two to eight by five on your purple opal on an 18 centimeter strand again. Beautiful, subtle, summery, feminine, vintage wedding. Absolutely stunning. Purple opal on its own is $29.95. I'm also going to give you some findings. You've got the silver findings with the round flat head pins and you've got the half round wire. You cannot buy the half round wire outside of this kit. PEG C73 is your item code. 115 findings you get with this. Here they are. Should be 62 pounds and 80 pence, but today I'm gonna to give you the bundle for a huge saving. Huge saving. So any other day you'll be paying 62.80. 44 pounds and 90 pence is your price tag. Remember, you cannot buy the half round wire outside of this kit. 44 pounds and 90p, PEG. C73, the two strands alone should be 50 pounds together. So essentially, you're making a saving on those and getting the rest for free. It's an amazing deal. 44, 90, 800, 644, 655. Let me see your names. Uh, all the W's.jurymaker.com. Don't forget to give us a text in the half round wire. Don't forget you can use your credit card or your debit card with this deal. Now. I'm going to give to you, oh don't forget I've still got that brand new strand. Is this not brand new? I've never seen it. Look at these. Isn't that lovely? Now what would you do with these? I think these are perfect for starting off a tassel. These at the top acting as the toggle and then your tassel falling below. What a colour in these grey agates. Great either side of the decolletage. Wonderful if you're doing a really long over the head necklace that you want a Japanese knot. And you've got loads. What about cuff links? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I'm thinking that this is a very Gemma Crow kind of strand. We're going to give you a ridiculous price for this should be you need to get these how many did i count again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen should be six ninety five we're going under five pounds this is very naughty get yourself on the phone lines rgg p74 they're only four pounds and 95 pence this is insane. We are honouring the lowest ever price here. Somebody naughty took these down. Who was it? Oh, don't. Oh, it was Ali, Ali and Philly. RGGP74. Beautiful. Grey agate. Edwina, Venetia, Yvette, Janice, Helen. I've got Michelle and Anonymous. Loads of you in for this one. RGGP74. Make sure you check it out, Baskets. Hello, Sheila. Don't forget to text us in. We want, to, we want your texts in today. 800 carats in total. 21 by 15 millimetres on the uniform. Use your debit card or your credit card. One PMP is all you're going to pay. 19 of them on the strand, by the way. And, and, and they're big. What would you do with these, Hannah? In really chunky barrel cufflinks. I just think they look really fab. Yeah. If you've got some like rope findings either side, head pin through, lovely big fat chunky toggle clasp on the other would look really lovely. And the grey, it's so pretty with rose quartz. It's such a gorgeous colour with the, the sort of lemon yellow gemstones as well. Mm. 4 95 great value. Janice is multi buying, Marie's buying too. I've got, it is a multi buyer, isn't it? Shannon Essex. Uh, Maria in County Clare, uh, Sheila in Nottingham, Norman in Belfast, uh, I've got Edwina in Gwynedd. Gwynedd? I can't say that without saying it like that though, can I? 4 95 Now, we've got a text. Who's it from? Anonymous. Hi Jenny and Hannah. Oh, Jackie. I am loving the boyfriend banter today about 
Uh, age difference. I'm 65 and my boyfriend is 48. Woohoo! Woo. Go girl! How about <laughs> that then? Li lo love and hugs, Jackie in Basingstoke. Put that young man down, Jackie. Good <laughs> on you, I say. Yeah, oh, good on yeah. you. Definitely. Go for I it. Yeah, I don't, uh, age ain't nothing but a number, girlfriend. It certainly isn't. Not in the, these days, anyway. We all live much longer. It's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we it's do. True. It's true. Four ninety-five. Now, bless you, Jackie. Now let's do. Which labradorite should we do? Oh, let's do the drops. We've been very lucky with the quality of our labradorite lately. It's amazing. We've got a new source of labradorite. Uh, we've had yeah, a couple of new suppliers for labradorite, and it's just really beautiful. The amount of shiller that you can see in these pieces is absolutely astounding. Yeah, yesterday I had one that really literally blew my socks off. It's just great. I love it. I love Labradorite. Look at that. Oh. Drop earrings for absolute sure. They're gorgeous. I want them to move. A bubble bracelet. Yeah. This has never been to air before on its own. You've only seen it within a sneaky bundle and it was a very popular bundle indeed. Look at the colours. Labradorite is made up of layers, and the more layers that you get, the more labradorescence that you get. So the long, the older, essentially, that Labradorite is, the more labradorescence? Yeah, yeah, kind of. Um, it depends on the way it's grown and what minerals are present, but yes, it does form in layers. Now, riddle me this, Hannah. Do you remember the riddles? Yeah, riddle me the this. They were a bit scary, actually. They were quite scary. I was scary. scared of puppets, so let's not talk about it ever again. Now, um, riddle me this. I've forgotten what I'm riddling. Oh. Ah. Wait. Oh, yes, I remember. Right. I was looking through the Marie Claire magazine. I mean, I could have been looking through Elle magazine or Vogue, but I happened to be flicking through the Marie Claire. Yeah. In that magazine, there was um, an advertisement for a Labradorite. I think it was a ring. Really amazing Labradorescence, but crackles. Yep. Lots of lines. Mm -hmm. What's it all about? It's just the way Labradorite forms. As you say, it, it forms in, in layers. You do see an awful lot of it with these sort of inclusions through them. It's natural host rock. It's going to be there. A lot of our Labradorite recently has been a lot, lot, lot clearer and a it's lot It's so fluid, clearer. Hannah. It really is, yeah. There's no cracks in this. Yeah, it's, it's incredible, actually, how, how different Labradorite can be from source to source. Can it be more expensive? Expensive if it's such good yeah, quality. Yeah, it's like anything within a gemstone. If it's a higher quality, if it's clearer, if it's cleaner, if it's more beautiful for the eye, it should be. I say should be because I know what our prices are like. It should be a lot more expensive. But this is very fluid, and that Marie Claire piece was a lot of money, Hannah. As you can, yeah. In fact, I think it was POA price on application. Yeah, probably. Which would means be. if you've got to ask the price, you probably can't afford <laughs> it. You know, it's look at this. Look at the fluidity. I, I really do feel proud to have such a wonderful example of Labradorite. And if I had paid a ridiculous price for Labradorite and then I saw somebody else's Labradorite of this quality, I'd, I'd feel jealous. Yeah. Now, I, I also say all the time that Labradorite is just as striking as any diamond. So why isn't Labradorite much more expensive? It's giving us something no other gemstone gives us. Um. That's a really good question, but I think it's about supply and demand, obviously. You know, there's an incredible ad campaign created by De Beers, which For focuses diamonds, on yeah. diamonds, yeah, and which will obviously bump the price up, whereas Labrador... Marilyn Monroe sang diamonds are a exactly. girl's best friend. Yeah, it's all of that sort of hype and that, that pretext behind the stone itself, whereas actually it's, it's an individual person's perception of what is beautiful and yeah. what is more valuable. And we're materialistic, us ladies, sometimes. Yes, we can be. I mean, I like a diamond, don't get me wrong, if you're about to buy me one, then continue, as you were. <laughs> but I do think Labradorite, you know, it, it, it shouldn't be about price, it should be about beauty, in which case there's no way I'd be able to afford this strand right now. But I can, because you're watching <laughs> Jewelry Maker ZDRU27, 70 carats, beautiful, smooth, fluid Labradorescence in drops. And when was the last time you saw drops that were through drilled? So this could be that perfect strand for that perfect project. Eight. 95. Wonderful price tag, beautiful shiller, exceptional quality. This really is a fantastic strand. Don't forget that if you're shopping with us here at Jewelry Maker Day, today you do get a 30 day money back guarantee. Well, in fact, any day apart from Christmas, where we give you a crazy, ridiculous extended money back guarantee of like a million days. Not really actually a million days. Uh, 70 carats, beautiful. 
Marquise, oui. Will you stop drinking and naming bundles? Make your mark. <laughs> Have a look. A marquise is a royal, is a member of a, of royalty, isn't it? Like a countess. Yeah, mar 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 marquise. Marquise. Marquise, marquise de l'Ancre. That's on uh, Ever After with, um, which is like the Cinderella story with Drew Barrymore in it. Have you seen that? <laughs> I really like that story. You should watch it. Angelica Houston, Drew Barrymore. Let's go watch that tonight you, as well. You need to do some film watching. Yeah, I do. You've actually. spent too long playing with balls of wool and cats. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. Look at what I've got for you. Beautiful Marquise Trio. Look at the blue. Have a look at that. You have got blue crackle top drilled marquise quartz, 12 by six. You have got the pink poppy quartz marquise top drilled 12 by 6. Clear quartz, top drilled. Tw these are beautiful. What a flower you could make out of these. That would be beautiful. You could make Easy a as bunch, well. Easy couldn't you? In like a brooch, in like a spray brooch design. That would look amazing. Gorgeous. Twisted tiara, twist the wire. Mm -hmm. You could do something so pretty with this tree of life design, maybe, if you wanted to do your own twist on it. But also a really nice bubble bracelet. Aren't these? Gorgeous. YFG C91. Absolutely stunning. Look at the look at these colours. Do you know what I love about crackle quartz? The way that the light just refract, refracts, because the whole point in crackling it is to get that boing 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 of light. And it does happen. But not only that, you're getting colour here as well. Now to get that crackled effect, you heat the gemstone up, don't you, Hannah? Yep. Heat it up, heat it up, heat it up, like you're in a sauna, you're in a sauna plunge pool it into freezing cold water. It does like a cartoon crackle thing. Yeah. Look at these together. Oh my gosh, Hannah. This is, is a perfect. perfect hair comb. Yeah. Oh yeah. With some of the, the baby pink wire from the website. Mm. Absolutely beautiful. Hannah, you know that thing I do where I say, can we get this? Can we get that? Yeah. Can we get this? Can we get this? You know the hair clips where you clip it in like this. So you put in and you go. Um, you put it in. Do you know what we I'm saying? We have something similar. And you pinch the sides and they go boing out again. We have something similar on order currently. Yes. Yes, we do. Now also, Hannah, yeah. something we haven't done. Uh, you can go into a shop and buy hair accessories, bridal pieces, and this would be perfect for this, which are like coiled wire. If you have the wire burring tool, this is, and you literally screw them into an updo, and you've got a little diamond in your hair, and brides wear them all in the back of their hair. Um, no, I mean hair coils. What about those boingy boingy things we have on the website at the moment anyway? I don't know if they would work, but we could make it out of wire is what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, you could do. Yeah, easily. Let's do more of that. that. Let's get on it. Let's do more. Let's make more. Don't you think these are perfect in the hair? They're so pretty. YFGC91, they're all 12 by 6, so they're all on the uniform. Nice cascading earrings as well. They should be 2385. These are genuine gemstones, don't forget. I'm going to give them to you for less than five pounds a strand. The colour, the crackles, the shape, they make a really easy flower, 14 85 All you need to do is get five of these on your strand, then tie it in a circle, tie it in a knot, and you've got a flower. It could not be simpler, could yeah. it? Really easy. What else would you do with these, Hannah? I think um, some little chandelier drops. As I yeah. say, I'm really struck on the brooch idea. I think a spray brooch out of these would look amazing. Look at the colours. They're so, so pretty. They're so summery. Nice anklets out yeah, of these. Yeah, that would be cute. Little a few anklets. chandy beads. Yeah, a few, with a few chandy beads or some like sort of stacker bracelets that you can knot and thread on oh. it as well. Some of the yes long cord matches the colours of these gemstones. Are you going to be going on holiday with Mark, Hannah? <laughs> I don't know. It's not so, I mean, it's coming up for summer. It is coming up for it's summer. It's time for you to book a holiday with him. <laughs> Do you haven't got any kids to ruin it, you see? June in London. 
<laughs> June in London. I still haven't been on holiday ever with my, my other half. Been together two years. June in London. Anonymous in Kent's got two. Sam in Durham. Mary in County Low. Carrie Ann in South Yorkshire. Oh, you cheeky thing. You've taken the price down so there's an exact £10 saving. 30.85. Don't worry if you. Pat in Menorca. Pat, have you calmed down from the sangria yesterday? She's back on it. Uh, Sharon in County Durham, Cheryl in Cheshire, you've got yours, Yvette, you've got yours. Well done. 13.85, don't worry if you already picked up the phone for these. We never take from your debit card before we've shaped your order. Wait, six, 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 four, six, double, five. Loads of multipliers. June, you've got yours. Anonymous in Greater London. Denise in Essex. Elizabeth in Lanarkshire. Loads of you have got this on the website. Loads of you are on the phone lines at the moment. There is a slight queue, please don't worry about it. It is a free phone number if you did, Lynn or dial in from the UK landline. You can use your debit card or your credit card. And of course, it's 1 PMP all day long, no matter how heavy your basket gets. At 13.85, you're getting a phenomenal value. Now, rounds to the right, rounds to the right. Are these CD beads? My favorite. I do love a CD bead, Hannah. CD beads are so versatile. I love them. They're stash essentials. The only reason we don't do geometric beading is because it's so hard to show you on a camera. Yeah, it is incredibly hard to pick it up. If we find a way of doing it, we will. CD beads are beautiful. Edging with them. You know what, even if you're making like little cuffs, you're sewing or you're, make, you're knitting something cute and you want the cuffs to be beaded, these are perfect for the loom. They are perfect for just simple stretches that stack up. They're very fashionable. They're wonderful all together. They're great additions to tiaras and fascinators. They are perfect for doing your trees of lives. Trees of lives. <laughs> I mean, trees of lives. They are absolutely perfect if you want to add little beady beads across a cabochon with some wire wrapping. I mean, they are just essential. Orange quartzite, white magnesite, yellow quartzite, blue agate. Very hard to find CD beads outside of jewelry maker that are made out of genuine gemstones. I've tried, I promise you, with all my heart. I promise you I've tried. Can you imagine how hard it is to drill these? Do you know what? Even if you went into your beadery, your local bead shop, these, when they're plastic or when they're glass, they can be expensive. We're going to give you genuine gemstones, which you think would be more expensive than plastic or glass. Unless you're shopping here at Jewelry Maker ANG C43. All of your beady beads for a phenomenal price tag. <laughs> look at these all together. Oh, hang on, I've missed out the halo. Should be, look, at £10.80, I think you, I think you're still going to find a CD beads at that price anywhere else. Look at these, plat them, loom them. <gasps> Bida Kumahimo, Prumahimo. When's she on next? Not long, she's got new things to launch when Prumahimo she's on. Prumahimo was on a couple of days ago. Oh, she's so good. Micro macrame, they're only seven pounds. For how many, for four? If I was math mathsy, I'd be able to work out what that was. Seven pounds per strand. 0800 644 How much is that per strand? Loads and loads of you on the phone lines. You've got 12 carats in the orange quartz, like 12 in the white magnets, like 20. Uh, loads of you there. Sam, you've got two. Marie, you're shopping. Tracy, Sandra, Cheryl, Tina, Jane, Yvette. These are going to sell out, I reckon. Look at how many of you are on the phone lines. Loads of you. CD beads are wonderful if you're working with wire and you want to plait it together. Fabulous for doing your macrames. Like I said, your beaded kumahimo looks phenomenal. Filling up things like the baby rattle that Alison Terry did with CD beads. Using CD beads as a filler, as a spacer in between a pearl or a black onyx, a big round. Um, do you know what? If you're worried about, um, oh, can I? They're very easy to thread, I promise you. Imagine the highlights in between. Now, Hannah, you have dexterity problems, but you're good with the CD beads. CD beads are okay to work with? But yeah, CD, be CD beads are fine, because you can just then pop them onto a needle and use the needle to pick them up with instead of trying to fiddle with your hands to get them. Don't do a Jenny Cleary. No. Do you remember what I did? <laughs> no, what did you do? I took them all off the strand. I, oh, yeah, no, don't I take them off the strand. strand. And I was like, these are going to take a while. Yeah, don't take a, them off the strand. It was one of my stupid moments, because of what you do, you don't do that, is you take the knot out, say, at the top, you get your beading thread and you pass your beading thread through the already strand and you move them across. You know, like an abacus. 
do not take them off to put them back on again thread them through you can do it with a needle and thread with your eslon thread if you want to as well <coughs> it will make your life a trillion times easier is a trillion a number We've only got 17 left. Zena, my gorgeous Zena, you've got two. Janice and Pamela and Norma. Uh, Angela and Joyce, uh, Kathleen, Maria. Uh, loads of you multiplying. Tina and Cheshire, you've got two. Christine and Kent, you've got yours. Pamela. Andrea, Patricia, Laurie. Pat in Menorca. Cheryl, you've got yours. Sharon in County Durham. I have got Elizabeth in Lanarkshire. Lanarkshire sounds posh. Julie in Sussex, you've got yours. It's great to have you all on board. They're only seven pounds. Genuine Gem says, how much do you pay in your local bead shop? I said to you I went to the one in Hitchin. That's why yeah. I saw geometric beading. Yeah. But she said she could not get hold of Genuine Gem says. She actually said to me, the lady, that they would be too expensive to give to her customers. Really? I shouldn't have told her about jewelry maker, but I also sort of thought she would hate me <laughs> because I was giving her customers what they wanted. Yeah. 12 chances. Shirley and Suffolk, you've bought two. Manjeet, you've got two. Uh, Margaret, I thought you dropped a load of beads then, Hannah. We've got some text messages. <laughs> Keep them coming. Claire, hello, Claire in Greater Manchester. Hi, Jenny and Hannah. My best friend, thank you. My best friend is 27 and her other half is 50 and they've been together for eight years. They're the happiest couple I've ever seen. Age is a number. It is. My best friend, Jade, is my age and her husband is in his 50s. I think, I think it's fine. The only reason I was a bit reluctant was because I don't think my dad knows. <laughs> he obviously does now. <laughs> Is your dad watching? Yeah. Your dad didn't know he had a boyfriend? No, dad, knew, dad knows about Mark. I just didn't think he'd but like realise. Mark realize. looks sort of my age, I think. No, well, yeah, he certain, certainly doesn't act sensibly. He doesn't? No. Well, who would if you're with me? Yeah. He, I thought he was Scottish for ages. <laughs> Did you tell him I thought he was Scottish? No, I didn't. I didn't tell him. I could have told you, like, I went, oh, you're with a Scotsman. And he went, no, I'm with Mark. And I went, yeah, he's Scottish. And he went, no, he's from South Africa. I was like, he is? <laughs> he does a rubbish South African accent. He does a rubbish South Africa. <laughs> Your accent says Scottish there, Mark. <laughs> uh, no, look at No, like Tom Cruise in Far and Away. Oh, back there again. That really did annoy you, didn't I it? I am so annoyed with Tom Cruise mm. because I don't think he's can't act. Can't you've do an you've taken it really personally. I've taken it I personally. Know. He's there with his millions. <laughs> I can do a better Irish accent than that. <laughs> and he didn't even try with a German accent when he was playing the German <laughs> opposite. He spoke in an American accent. <laughs> don't speak in an Irish accent in an American accent when you're supposed to be a German officer That's and true. get paid millions for it. That's very true. I'm just putting it out there. If you're a Tom Cruise lover, I apologise. He's just a pretty face, girls. He's just a pretty face. Now, Anne, not really my type either. Now, did I open up a whole can of worms there? I'm not sure. <laughs> now, let's go to a very special strand. Beautiful barrel. Beautiful barrel. Look at the, ooh, the cut is stunning on this one. Morganite, Heliodor, Aquamarine. Look at that colour. Is that an aquamarine, Hannah? Yeah, it's a really, really dark, isn't it? Obviously, isn't that crossing gorgeous? over to nearly an emerald there, aren't you? You've got Goshenite in there as well, lovely clear one. Yeah, you've got some Goshenite. Beautiful. This is so special. The Beryl family has, I mean, in gemstones that are very highly respected in mm. gemology. Why is it we are so in love with aquamarine? I think it's because it's just such a beautiful blue colour but also it suits all skin tones mm, yeah, not I a lot of gemstones that. do that but actually that tone colour does you are almost crossing over to emerald with that deep yeah, one aren't you, really you like are. you said very close to an emerald the beryl family is probably one of the most important in gemology would you say hannah in terms of the array of gemstones certainly we're getting? is yeah you're also getting a lot of newly discovered gemstones although it's an old family obviously morganite is is quite a recent discovery yes it is. yes you're right so they've known about sort of aquamarine emerald for very many years and then suddenly you get this new one which happens to be the sister stone and i just think that sort of thing's fascinating really but it's a very very well respected gemstone and also it has beautiful clarity as well which people do really love in gemstones. Talk to me about why they're saying that aquamarine is going to become 
a precious gemstone if it hasn't already. There's all there's a lot of demand for aquamarine, again being the lighter blue hue, but also I think it's just really captivating in the way it looks. It's sparkly, it's light blue, it's very, very feminine, very pretty, and it's not quite as in your face grand as what say a ruby or perhaps a sapphire is it's just slightly more understated and that appeals to a lot of people subtlety beauty yes elegance very graceful strand is this i think this would make the most beautiful gift i love the thought of this in uh, uh, actually a bracelet because i like the way these fall i do think sections of these droplets in uh, in a necklace but I would keep it very delicate and I think earrings would look stunning as well we're talking about anklets and I know it's going to be a very special anklet because yeah. I mean these are gems of distinction they are very high end and I do think you know we only tend to wear anklets in the summer mm -hmm. but I think it's going to be such a special special piece of jewelry I would recommend using sterling silver with these always yes yeah, i would too i mean if you're looking at anklet designs what a beautiful gift for someone who's going abroad to get married on the beach because <gasps> you're doing oh, that really pretty we're talking anklet. about marriage a lot today <laughs> <laughs> but you've got your something blue in that as well you've got your aquamarine yes you have I'll make you that anklet. <laughs> Thanks, Jenny. Where are you going to go? Which beach? Because okay, I'm going to be there, girlfriend. <laughs> I'll be turning up. T-I-R-U-73 <laughs> is your item code. These are just £9.95. T-I-R-U-73 is your item code. Under £10. Under £10. Phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. 55 carats, beautiful multicolored beryl. This is a steal. I gave you that gorgeous strand the other day for 29.95 and, and it was such a good deal. This is crazy low. I'd get these valued. Mm -hmm. I certainly I would. would. Now, I've been telling everybody, I overheard you saying we we're gonna have some stir, uh, solid gold findings one day. Have so you been told telling everybody. everyone that? Yeah, I tell everyone everything. That was a big secret. I've told you not to tell me secrets. <laughs> I didn't tell you. I overheard you. I was in the room. I heard you telling somebody. <laughs> you know to keep it shut when uh -huh. I come in the room. Oh, I didn't know you were there. How can you not know when I'm in a room, Hannah? How <laughs> dare you? It's not as though I'm quiet. <laughs> Jeanette, Patricia, Mary, you've got to Yvette, Catherine, Hazel, Elizabeth, Vandering, Gloucestershire, Dorothy in Worcestershire, Brenda, Barbara, and Laurie. Uh, do you know what, Hannah? Are we going to really have gold findings? Yeah. How long? When are they coming? Mm, I don't know. Can I have them? Yeah. Well, I've said it on air now. I don't get into scheduling. we're allowed to launch the gold findings. <laughs> I don't do scheduling, I just buy How things. How long? When? Um, I haven't had confirmation as to shipping yet, so another couple of weeks, I would say. Only a few weeks? Possibly. <gasps> it was me getting excited. That's what my <laughs> daughter used to do when she was excited. <laughs> well, maybe I did that face at her and she copied. Who knows the truth? <laughs> Who knows what I'm going to come home to as well? She might be stuck to something with the oh, rollers. Oh, no. Lee, probably. <laughs> now. What about this tubing? Because it's quite, um, I haven't done this for ages. Do you know what we got? This is great snipped up, isn't it? Yeah. You use tubes a lot mm. and it goes very well with turquoise. Haven't we got a piece with the tubing? It looks great if you're sort of ma making uh, perspex pendants, you can literally mold the perspex into a bale over the tubing. That looks really, really cool. Yes. That looks fab. If you wanted to do some polymer clay bits, do you think, you know what? Um, I'm just going to get something. Bye, back again. <laughs> That's good presenting for you. Now, if you wanted to do something like this, you could perhaps even go over the top of the tubing. Yeah, you probably could. It depends on, um, yeah, because if you bake the polymer clay, it's fun. I was just thinking about the grade five plastic thing, but yeah, it should be. It should be fine once it's baked onto. Now you can actually use this in loads of different ways. You can snip it. Yeah. Have Gem. you got some snips there so I can show everybody what it looks like cut? Because actually it looks really good as spacers too. Mm, there are no snips going on on this side of the studio. No snips, no scissors. Have you got any scissors, Scott? What? Scissors. Pardon, not what? 
How dare you say what to me? Pardon. Now, if you were my child, I'd make you be silent for 10 minutes. Done. What? That's like not saying thank you when I give you your dinner. I take the plate away for a minute. I'm horrible, aren't I? I blinking do, because the kids should have manners. Kids should have manners, definitely. He's answering what? back now. <laughs> so what I'm doing here is showing you. Now you would do this in a much cleaner way, Hannah, wouldn't you? Not with Scott's scissors. <laughs> Not with Scott's scissors, no. I would actually probably use the um, cutting blades from the polymer clay pack. Yes, that I would do really that too. That gets a really neat, neat um, finish. But also, um, Gemma Crow did a beautiful design where she sort of sliced them through and it made like a really big tribal textured necklace. I think it's on Facebook somewhere. It's absolutely incredible. You can snip it, you can slice it, you can run your wire through it and wiggle it. Yes. You can make little um, you can make little beads. You can bop it, says Scott. <laughs> um, it wasn't Scott, it was Tom. Uh, you can do absolutely loads of this. I know when you're looking at it you think it's just rubber tubing, but it isn't. It's so much more. You can use your cloud clay with it, mm -hmm. you can use you can wind polymer clay, you can wind uh, wire around it. Who wow wow wire around it looked amazing. They had a and it was a pen. Oh, was it um, Laura, Laura Binding? Binding. Yeah. Laura Binding, she's got loads of she uses loads of this together with her Viking weave. It's just a fab thing to have. We haven't had this in ages. You get a meter, seven ninety five. Was I the last person to do this? When was it? We haven't had it since February. No, that doesn't surprise me. It's really good, is this uh, tubing. Let me see all your names. It's seven by six millimetres across, and there's loads that you can do with it. You can use it for bracelets and things like that. But Clossa, it's really good if you've just started out because it's super easy to work mm. with. And, it, and you can get that sort of masculine look with this colour as well. It's nice if you're layering. N-N-A-R-27. Now I'm going to give to you... Some beautiful sunstone. Hannah, is it true that the main element that's different between sunstone and moonstone is just the particles of copper? Yep, it's just simply the inclusions of hexagonal copper platelets, and that gives rise. Hexagonal? To are they always hexagonal? Yep. Yeah, how can you be sure they're hexagonal? Because that's that's how they are. How do you know? Under my, if you're under a microscope, they're perfect little hexagons. Why? How? When? Just one of those quirks of nature. That's how they form. Well, always by law. Yep. yep. I never knew. And it's like glitter. It's like internal glitter. Isn't it wonderful? It is absolutely stunning. And those uh, those platelets, because they're flat, they're really highly reflective. So they're really bouncing back any light that hits them. And it is just giving rise to this beautiful body colour of um, essentially copper. It's amazing. And you've got the same shiller that you get in Moonstone. Yep. Yeah, because they're obviously the same family, so they're going to show the same characteristics, but with their own twist. What are the myths and legends behind sunstone, do you know? I have no idea. Because moonstone is fertility and all of that lot. I'm going to look into that. Sunstone sounds nice, doesn't it? Yeah. It sounds warming. And they are like the sun rising. Look at that! Hexagonal particles of copper causing an explosion of light inside each one, the shiller giving you beauty as well as excitement, the perfect strand. Look at that colour, very vintage together with the Amazonites, and your mm. bronze wires, very, very vintage indeed, very steampunk strand, and it's giving you something, you're, get, you're getting an effect, look, that glitter is a wonder to watch, isn't it? It's incredible. Absolutely fantastic, T-U-R, U-57. You've got 130 carats, they're 9 by 5 to 21 by 7. And, uh, let me see. Uh, I'm trying to look for some myths and legends for you. It was used, it was ground into medicine in mm. early years. I wonder why. Probably because it looks nice and sparkly. This looks like it would cause a nice... <laughs> there you go. I, I'm not a doctor, don't be eating these and don't be grinding them down. I don't know why they did that. Why they did that. It is striking, it is beautiful. And I think I'd wire wrap these actually as individual pendants. Yes. Yeah, make them go further. Definitely. Get your money's worth out of them. Oh, yeah. Sell them as individual pieces and I think you're more likely to make a bigger profit, of course. Yeah. Seventeen ninety-five is your price tag for these. You can make floral pieces, you can make drop earrings, you can make pendants. It's up to you. 
T, you are you 57. We're going to go lower. We're going to honor the launch price I'm just hearing in my ear roll. Ranging from 9 by 5 to 21 by 7 tonight, just 14.95. Incredible, incredible price tag. Isn't that wonderful? 0800 6, 444 is the number to be calling. Look at the facets here as well. You're not only getting the light show from the copper, you're also getting that. And actually, some of these are differently faceted, Hannah, aren't they? You yeah, you've that? got longer facets on some than the others, depending on the, on the size of the gemstone, but I think that gives a really, really attractive appearance. Yeah, they, uh, what, what the laboratories have done have actually looked at the gems as an individual yeah. rather than just doing it because of their, their, whatever they've been told to do. Yeah. Which I like. Yeah, they're literally matching the facets to the gemstone itself. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Fourteen ninety-five. Now, my dear hearts, I am going to give to you something I love. Ooh, Ooh these are gorgeous. Look at this colour. Lemon quartz is really zesty, isn't mm. it? Isn't that beautiful? It's a different kind of yellow than you get to citrine. It's more of a, I want to say more of a golden top, but it's actually, yeah, it's, yeah. it's more lemony. It's, more, yeah, much more zesty. Yeah. But also, it's a much more wearable yellow. Do you think? Yeah, definitely. I think bright yellow can be really, really over the top sometimes, but this brings in yellow in a more subtle way. Yeah, I, actually, some of the tones are coming across quite primrose in here. Yeah. They were saying yeah. zesty, and that's quite contradictory to primrose, but it is a soft. Uh, it's, it's sort of a, ro a yellow rose yellow, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's like a fresh colour, isn't it? I would prong set these into rings. I think it's perfect yeah. for that. Yellow is definitely a colour of happiness for me. I, I think it's gorgeous, this strand. I would put these in rings. I'd put these in tiaras. I'd want one of these as a pendant. I'd love them as earrings. This is a strand of versatility. And is there a skin tone that doesn't go with yellow? Because I haven't seen it. No, nope, I haven't seen it either. Beautiful. Absolute. Look at that checkerboard faceting. VBR U14. Absolutely gorgeous. <coughs> Look at this. Hundred and thirty five carats. You've got eleven by six, twenty eight by ten on a nineteen centimeter strand. You can use your debit card or your credit card if you're shopping with us today. So like I said, you can put these in earrings, you can put these in pendants, you can put these in a ring. Hannah and I have discussed the mm. colour of these as well, how much we like them, how much these are different tones to perhaps the tone of citrine. I love the shapes, I love that these are top drilled. Fourteen pounds and ninety-five pence is what you're paying for these right now. Uh, now, like I said, you can put these in a ring. I think that would be a really nice idea. I love the way these have got clarity as well. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Now I'm going to give to you three strands of green agate. Have a look. I've got reds. What I like about this colour is it's really strong. Actually, this is kind of green onyx green, isn't it? It's very close to green onyx green. It's very, very rich emerald bottle green, which is just beautiful at this time of year against the tan. Yeah, it is actually. Really? And it's real Christmas green as well. Yeah. Look at those facets, really deep and rich. I actually think you can do quite a few things with this kind of colour green. Like you're saying, against the tan, it does look very good. It looks great with gold, um, but that is going to tend to make it look a little bit more Christmassy. If you don't want that to happen, then uh, the, the pink wire is great and it makes it look... And actually, these are great in any floral pieces because we know that green is very prominent in nature. Uh, and of course, very lush grass comes out in the springtime yep. sometimes. So when you put it with yellows, you've got a real spring colour, haven't mm -hmm. you? Have a look at the graduations of the rounds. It's really nice to see 
the graduations of the rounds. Now, the rounds are going to range from, let me see, do, 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 6 mil to 15 mil, and they're on a 42 centimeter strand. Then you've got the pennies, the puffy pennies. Now, these are all uniform, which I like because it means that you can make a really simple bracelet. You could put some nice spaces in between them. What about those uh, CD beads we had earlier? It would be nice and fun. Yeah, they look those. perfect in between. Uh, you know that chain we've got with the balls in the middle? Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Link, link, and then a nice uh, sort of gold ball in the middle. That would be nice as an extender if you had half gemstones, half of that, and you could sort of change it around. They look great in the cuff bangles as well that Laura Binding does. She yeah. does cuff bangles with brands. They look really pretty. Uh, now, with a graduated round, I, I just think a classic necklace with a matching earring set is mm -hmm. good. What do you think about the hexagons, Hannah? They're, that's not actually a shape I use a lot. It's not a shape we see a lot either, but it would look amazing wrapped with some copper wire, just a really simple sort of kiss effect over the, the main facet of the, the hexagon into a copper wrap bangle, I think would look really, really fun with this. Now, these hexagons have never been seen on their own before. I think, you know, because they got the shapes, can I make a beady bead day of a hexagon like this? Because it's flat, would yeah. it do something different? You can. It's easier to use something that's more um, sort of 3D, if you like, because it fits together. But you're going to get more of a textured look. It's going to sit in all different ways, depending on which way it's formed in the beady bead. But you can certainly try it, see mm -hmm. how it looks. So, have a look. Actually, I like the way these are Japanese knotted as well, so that they space out. I quite like separating those. It makes me think about putting spaces in between and seeing how it looks. Yeah. I think it also frames the gemstone nicely if you use spaces. Look how tiny the tiny ones are compared to the little, little ones. See that? Really tiny. Don't forget when you're dialing with us. If you want to shop with us here at Jewelry Maker, a couple of you on the website already for this. You can shop on the phone lines 0800 6 444 655 is a free phone number to be dialing. All the w's.jewelrymaker.com is the way to shop online. 130 carats in the green agate puffy coins at 10 mil. 10 mil with the hexagons and 6 to 15. Hi, Samina. Hi, Jenny. Uh, the green agate goes well with the lemon quartz. Do you know, actually, I thought that, you know, mm. we're talking about springtime. Thank you, Samina. It, it looks really pretty. Look at that. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, individually, each strand would be costing you, if you were shopping as the, for these as individual items, you would be paying £21.85. OVGC06 is your item code. We're going to give you a saving. Oh, no, we're not. £13.95. and You do still get your 30-day money-back guarantee. You will still just pay one PMP, even though these are heavy. So these are now just, well, they're way less than uh, £5 a strand at £13.95. Uh, talk to me as well, Hannah, about green agate. It's a really popular gemstone in, um, in sort of costume jewellery now. When I, I'm actually seeing a lot of I saw some costume jewelry on another shopping channel and agate was very, very expensive. Mm -hmm. I was seeing an agate bangle for over £100. Yeah, I mean, you will do. These are genuine gemstones. Obviously, they've been treated so that they retain the beautiful green colour. But what we're seeing a lot in costume jewelry is a revival um, to early Victorian jewelry, which. Victorian jewelry, Hannah's Han saying, sorry, some of your mic problem there. Uh, her mic's given up on her, she's just talking. Uh, 15, 13 pounds and 95 pence, very, very beautiful Victorian kind of style. Actually, green is very prominent with, with sort of golds in Victorian jewelry, marker sight as well uh, in Victorian jewelry with all that sparkle, Hannah. Yes, that looked absolutely. nice with this, that, you know that pewter kind of grey marker sight that they used to use? Yes, absolutely. Really pretty. Really, really nice. And even mixing in with hematite, things like that to get that same sort of look would look oh, incredible. Yeah. Look really nice with this. Really good idea. Thirteen ninety-five. Now, do you remember I gave you those natural turquoise rondelles? What did I do with those? I took them out. Oh, I've got them. Here we go. Look at these. Those are lovely. Aren't they a colour? The matrix in these is golden. 
How does yeah, that happen? I thought you only could get black matrix. You get black, white, and you can get sort of more sort of goldeny, browny coloured matrix as well. It just literally depends on locality and mine. Aren't these pretty? So these are totally natural, which is mm -hmm. quite hard. When we think about kind of the competition that we have got with the rest of the jewellers, I mean, Turk is a very, very popular gemstone. It's hard for us to get as mere jewellery makers, mm -hmm. uh, you know, without wanting to use a better term. You know, the jewellers out there are powerful. You know, they've got a lot of money behind them. What a treat to bring us strands like this. How difficult are they to source? They are incredibly difficult to source because obviously the world market is already cornered by the buying leaders. But yeah. luckily we do have the resource of Gems TV behind us as well. So we do have a better stake in that market than what we would do as sort of flying out on or our just own. Just a craft channel. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So we, we are very lucky in that fact. We do have a great buying team in India as well to be able to bring us these beautiful stones. So talk to me about natural turquoise. We've loved this gemstone yeah. for years. I mean, the Aztecs loved it. Didn't they value it more Higher highly than gold. than gold? And we know how much the Aztecs love gold. So yeah, definitely very, very incredibly so expensive gemstone. So turquoise was more precious yeah. and more respected and more loved than gold to the Aztecs? Yes, it was, yeah. Well, say no more. <laughs> Look at the colour. I love that these are graduated. I think I just want to make a necklace out of these, Hannah. We were having a discussion on our guest designer page the other day about how you restrand gems of distinction. And quite honestly, we all agreed, all of the guest designers were involved in this. Simply spaced, leave it as it is, because the gemstones do all the talking mm -hmm. in these kind of strands. They are spaced out with the silver um, beads here already. I would make use of those. I think they're beautiful. Uh, just as they are here. Yep. Stunning colour, and like Becky says, instant tan strand. Yes, it absolutely Makes is. you look brown. It is a holiday gem, so it's beautiful. ZRJN39, 40 carats, they're four by two to nine by five on an 18 centimetre strand. 24 pounds and 95 pence. That is a very good price. Like, do you remember when I launched, Hannah, the three strands for 80 pounds? I do remember that, yeah. They're and that so was a good price then. Yes, they're so it's so difficult to mm -hmm. source natural turquoise. This is the one that you want if you want a hundred percent pure natural turquoise. Uh, it is, of course, December's birth gemstone, a gemstone that's said to bring a sense of well-being and spiritual harmony. Uh, it is absolutely going to shock you because we're just going to take it down to a record low. Hannah doesn't look comfortable. I'm not comfortable. Nineteen ninety-five is your price tag. Under twenty pounds for genuine turquoise. The eyebrows are down. She needs to have her Botox refreshed. <laughs> ZRJ M thirty-nine. 19 you've got a 30 day money back guarantee on everything that you buy from us here hazel you've got yours jane and julie and moira and heather patricia you've got yours anonymous in greater london you've got yours 40 carats jacqueline in yorkshire hello to you what a price tag never ever ever seen before we're not going to promise you're going to see it again we are going to catch up with hannah momentarily and her challenge 19.95 you could incorporate these in with the uh, turquoise we had from earlier. That's a reconstituted turquoise. If you want the real deal, and here it is for you. I think it's going to look great with the garnet we had from earlier too. Isn't that fab? Perfect. Now, I'm going to recap the challenge. What have I done with that challenge? Oh, it's all there. Should we go? Let's go. Uh, please don't forget that Ali Defoy is up tonight. She's got a guest tonight. Hannah Osborne is with uh, Ali tonight, uh, doing some, doing, doing something gorgeous and glamorous like she always, oh, she always does. does. Yeah, very glamorous lady. Very glamorous. Oh, I love the moons. Yeah, little moons. They were fun to, to use actually. These types of shell because they are fun, funky pieces and just do, say a lot in the jewelry themselves. You don't need to work them too much. I love the earrings. They're fun. They're light-hearted. Actually, kind of party going yeah. out with the girls. Yeah, they are. You're not going to be earrings. doing that so much now. So <laughs> <laughs> she's going to dump all the friends. No. <laughs> At nine ninety for the bundle, down from fourteen seventy-five. The summer shell quintet. 
gorgeous. This is lovely. Were they easy to work with? Yeah, really, really easy. As I say, they're, they're lovely, big, bold pieces. So they just do all the work in, in the design themselves. All the focus is on the gemstone. You just have to add a couple of bits of chain and you're pretty much done with the design on these. Isn't this a fab, fab bundle? I love it. Lightweight, really affordable, easy to use, different shapes to what we're used to. Yeah, yeah. Lovely colour, fabulous shiller. It's got it all going on. £9.90. HZG C94. We've got one more strand that's just oh. arrived. All right, talk to us about this strand, Hannah. Oh, it is just absolutely so stunning that one, the pink sapphire colors. gorgeous absolutely beautiful and such a beautiful drop as well they're very beautifully faceted quite difficult to get that tone in a pink sapphire because there's a very fine line mm, between pink, pink sapphire, sapphire and ruby, ruby isn't there yeah yeah so how do i oh, you know what is is you do normally see lighter tones so i really want that deep deep pink these are like this they're, they're mystical almost look at the cut really allowing mm. you to have that sparkle these are clusters. Yeah. clusters, 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 all day long. Absolutely beautiful, and even uh, like tassel drops as well. With mm. lots clustered together on a drop, would look fantastic in these. WRRU sixty-two. We uh, eighty-two. Sorry, we have got like no time to give these to you, but they just arrived, and uh, and we couldn't help but bring them to you. Seven by four to eight by five on a sixteen centimeter gems of distinction strand. Nineteen ninety-five. They've only been to air once before. It is, uh, of course, September's birth gemstone. Uh, is sapphire uh, and, and such a fine line between sapphire and ruby at this tone. So it's really nice to see these deep, deep, rich pinks just beautiful hannah thank you so much i've loved every minute of you today mm, thank you the dremel me. was amazing um, from one hannah to the other we are going to hand you over to hannah osborne and ali defoy if you're watching online stay where you are we're also on sky 655 all the way up until nine o'clock tonight ali's got some beautiful strands some wire a kit huge rose quartz coming up for you so it's goodbye from her bye and goodbye from me i'll see you later In a part of Emerald like this, you really have a wealth of different qualities here. Everything from the kind of quality of gemstones that we've refaceted into gems ready for jewellery, right through to your cabochons, through to your really, really high quality beads, through to the strands which you might have seen on jewellery maker before, and then some flat faceted pieces as well.